down here to start making some pancakes. Well, we stand by the bill. Right. We wrote it, apparently. This bill would also require the federal government pay to build a tram or monorail or whatever connecting yeah. the Black Sheep Pub right, on North Capitol Street to all IHOP restaurants I think in the we city. made some illustrations The of bill that. gives the estimated cost of the tram as probably not even that much. You are wasting my time and the time of this Excuse committee. Me, I gotta go. What? <clears throat> Congressman, this committee is go. still in session. You can't... This is the Onion News Network. Talk Live. You can join us on the radio. The toll free number is 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. Joining you in the studio tonight, it's Ian and Mark. And of course, we've got Skype. Uh, Skype username is lrn.fm. We'll talk about the, the guy who's running for office in Florida who is running as a libertarian for the U.S. Senate. He has admitted to sacrificing a goat. Oh, thank you, libertarians. I really appreciate that. Uh, yeah, and this is actually causing, I guess, some internal strife within the party. The party chairman has resigned over this man running for <laughs> the U.S. Senate. Yeah. Excuse me. Sorry. Uh, and so you can sure, certainly sh uh, share your thoughts about that tonight. Also, you can bring up whatever happens to be on your mind. Looks like there's a new ISIS video with a child soldier in it. Threatening Barack Obama. I have yet to find the video, but I will dig around for that. There, you know, there's always news about the video, but finding the actual video can sometimes be a challenge. Uh, so Ian and Mark here, and you can join us online, of course, at freetalklive.com, where you actually get to control the content of the website. So you submit to the front page of the site what it is that you think we should talk about on the radio and or what you think our listeners will find interesting. And then uh, it gets voted up or down based on your input. So go to freetalklive.com. And do that. Here's a story from the Orlando Sentinel out of Tallahassee. Two years ago, Augustus Sol Invictus walked from central Florida to the Mojave Desert and spent. His name's Sol Invictus? That's correct. Augustus Sol Invictus. Is this his given name? No. Okay. Uh, he walked from central Florida to the Mojave Desert and spent a week fasting and praying, at times thinking he wouldn't survive. In a pagan ritual to give thanks, when he returned home, he killed a goat and drank its blood. All right. Now that he's a candidate for U.S. Senate, the story is coming back to bite him. The chairman of the Libertarian Party of Florida has resigned to call attention to Invictus's candidacy in hopes that other party leaders will uh, denounce him. Adrian Wiley, who was the Libertarian candidate for governor last year, uh, says Invictus wants to lead a civil war is trying to recruit neo-Nazis to join the party and brutally and sadistically dismembered a goat. Okay, so Wiley is uh, the party chairman? That, he was. Okay. He's now resigned. Okay. Well, I really like Wiley. You know him? I do. Well, we, we saw him at the uh, Coins in the Kingdom event. Oh, I don't recall. You don't recall? No. Nope. Well, I assure you he was there. And he, cool. I've seen him uh, speak on two occasions, also down at the Bitcoin event in Miami. Uh, Miami Beach, hmm, okay. and the uh, the guy's great. He gives a great speech, and he's a you know friendly guy. And in my opinion, would be the best governor of Florida if he had one, and he didn't. It doesn't surprise me. He ran as a libertarian. Yeah, sure. I don't think he even came close. And probably didn't even crack three uh, percent. Would be my guess, but I don't know. I I know that they were making a big deal out of him polling above ten percent or something like that. That's great in some kind of poll, uh, but I don't think it pan it panned out for him even to get to to break two digits in the election. I wonder whether he is doing more to draw attention to the weirdness of the uh, Libertarian Party here or just drawing attention to the Libertarian Party, which is a good thing. Um, um, it's definitely drawing attention to a weird character. There's no doubt about that. But the reason why he did it, I did read his Facebook update when he announced he was resigning. That, so that's actually how I heard about this. Why the news, yeah, the okay. news coverage came later. Uh, so he announced that he was resigning from uh, on Facebook from the LP in Florida, and essentially he claims that the uh, the executive committee or whatever they're called there in Florida would not essentially rebuke this character, this okay. uh, Invictus guy, and because they wouldn't stand against him, if you will, that you know he decided, well, I don't want to be a part of this organization. If you're not going to stand against this guy who allegedly, now I don't know what his actual beliefs are, right? We're we're taking Wiley's word for it. Uh, this Sol Invictus, Augustus Sol Invictus, 
is trying to recruit neo-Nazis into the party, which I definitely would be upset about if uh, if that's happening. Well, it's, and, I, I can tell you that it's uh, it's one of the things leveled at libertarianism on a regular basis. It's shorthand for, I don't want to have a conversation about your beliefs, mm -hmm. so I'm going to call you a racist, right? So libertarians get called racists on a regular basis. You can probably find racists within the Republican and Democrat parties. I'm pretty sure you can, yeah. Um, I don't uh, like the fact that they're they're around, but uh, if they you know if they if they sort of uncover themselves, then they tend to not get treated very well uh, when that happens. And so I guess that's why Wiley was surprised that the Libertarian Executive Committee was not willing to sort of eject this guy. And I don't know how good their um, the, the evidence is. You know? I don't know either. Um, and so he apparently also wanted to lead a civil war. Uh, Wiley says about him, quote, he's well, the absolute exact civil opposite. Wars, um, I mean, I don't entirely know what that means either. If it just means that— Sounds like violence. And generally, it could be. you know, yeah. and that's not uncommon for people in the libertarian movement is to advocate for violence against the state. Um, I used to do that, and then I changed my, my views over time, especially after I moved to New Hampshire. And I kind of got some hope uh, back in my life. Yeah, that's that. what did it for me. And I'm from Florida originally. But as far uh, so. as goat killing a goat and drinking its blood, um, I mean, if you're going—that's his business. If you're gonna, well, if you're gonna do away with it, first off, I mean, you know, this is not too far from what carnivores do. Uh, people eat the flesh of cows and pigs, some eat and, it rare, and chickens, right? And yeah. you know, some steak tartare, some eat it raw, Ugh. some eat the Ugh. the flesh of, of fish raw. Do you not? Fish, sure. Yeah, not so, as bloody though. It's. It's about preference. Yeah. In religious rites, people uh, consume food all the time. Some of that food is uh, the body of uh, living, uh, of one point living beings. I can tell you that there are a lot, a, a good percentage of Americans have eaten the body and drank the blood of a human um, at uh, at church at some point, or at least mm -hmm. that's what some will believe. Hold that thought. The transubstantiation claims that it's an actual body and actual blood. Right. More about Augustus Sol Invictus here in moments. We'll see what he has to say for himself as well. Uh, but let's first go to Allison. She's listening in California online. Hello, Allison. You're on Free Talk Live with Ian and Mark. Hello. Hey. Hi, guys. Nice of you to have me. Sure. That's what we do. Go ahead. Unusual topic to tell you guys about and your listeners. More unusual uh, than goat dr uh, blood drinking? Go ahead. Even more I gotta unusual hear this. than that. <laughs> this is factual. I wanted to let you know of the work of the Fireburn Doctor. The um, Fireburn he's a guy, Doctor. The okay. Fireburn Doctor. He's demonstrating on a global scale with public tests for free the effectiveness of a, an ancient technology which he's putting to the test under medical, scientific, and media scrutiny for the world's public to test on their bones and shingles. It's been in existence for about six years, following a, a, a slander piece from the BBC, a bought and paid for slander piece, where he was accused of being a fake. Uh, long, cut a long story short, he said to the BBC, well, test me, and they wouldn't, and that, that slander program stayed on the internet ever since. Ha oh. Get cut there. I don't know what happened to. Uh, I feel like we've had call. a call like that this sounds before. It sounded familiar, so I pulled it up. And uh, yes, there are some allegations here that this guy is a hoaxer and a fake. I guess, I, I, yeah, I think somebody did call about something very similar to this in the previous. I don't know if it was like a few years ago or whatever, but some of these stories are a little on the old side. It looks like Skeptic Blog has a piece about this. And we'll see if we can uh, pull up some more information for you here in moments. I don't know if I – it looks like it might have an internet failure. Uh, can Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, here we go. Uh, this is Michael Shermer. We actually had him on the show years ago. You remember that? Michael Shermer, a skeptic. He's a well-known skeptic. Anyway, Mark, maybe you weren't there for that. Uh, the skepticblog.org or, – or skepticblog.org, rather, by Michael Shermer. Can burn patients really be healed from a distance by phone? No. A couple of weeks ago, I was a meeting with television producers at a Pasadena, California hotel when I ran into a man named Richard Green, whom I met last year uh, at the debate that Leonard um, Lodano and I did with Deepak Chopra and others at Chapman University. With him was a woman named Dr. Marja Pronk, whom Green introduced as someone who can heal burn patients uh, from a distance uh, why by are you phone. Oh, all of a sudden she's back. Hello, yes, oh, hello. I've been here all 
along. Well, I don't know I what happened. There was some kind of uh, there was some kind of technical difficulty there. You uh, you cut these out. These are people who haven't tested it. Uh, I don't know what happened there, but these are people who have not tested it. The BBC did uh-huh. not test it, and Shermer. I've talked to Shermer on multiple occasions. He wouldn't test it himself. Is the claim now, they that he can heal burns around? over the telephone? Is that the claim? No, that's not the claim okay. at all. The all right, well, well, good. Because that if that was I'll the claim, it'd be ludicrous. It. I'm going to put you on hold. You're going to have to make the claims here in a moment because uh, I want to know exactly what you're saying because that's the in- that's the interpretation of Michael Shermer who is by no means a stupid man uh, and I'm not saying skeptics are right about everything I want to make that clear our toll free number is 855-450-FREE we'll uh, continue with Allison and you can join us here on Free Talk Live Molly's been having four scoops a day and she has slimmed down and gotten this puppy look her coat has sheen you can't believe oh, yeah. it her breath is better. She's just perkier. It's just so totally amazing. She's a gorgeous Springer Spaniel. She's 12 and a half years old. The last two, three years, she was really becoming very old, very slow, was very sad. And I thought, oh, this is it. I was driving along one day, and I heard this person raving about Dynavite. Dynavite.com. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com. 859-428-1000. She's got life. She's got energy. She's got stuff. To give. She loves it. She chomps at every last single crumb. These ingredients are natural. The flax and the yeast cultures and the grains. The digestive enzymes that are cooked out of regular dog food. We're on our third order now. We just want everybody to know about Dynavite. 859-428-1000. 859-428-1000. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E oh. dot com. My name is Bill Bonner, and I'm the president of the largest private news and research network in the world. And I paid for this airtime because I have an important message to the American people. There's a change coming that the government isn't telling you about. This change has deep implications for life in America, from where you shop to the doctors you visit and the family you want to protect. Look, I've made predictions like this before. Thing is, I was right then, too. A few years ago, I warned that housing prices would collapse. They did. Before that, I warned that dot-com companies would crash. They did. Those who listened had a chance to save themselves. But this has nothing to do with the stock market. This will affect us all. You can watch the video for free right now by going to disappearingwealth.com. Again, that's disappearingwealth.com. Does this ever happen to you? Moments after you're introduced to someone, you forget his or her name. It's a common faux pas you'll want to avoid, especially if you're a job seeker. And even if you're not, here's a tip. As you are being introduced, and while you're still shaking hands, smiling, and making eye contact, say the person's name aloud. Not only does that make a deposit in your memory bank, it acknowledges the other person. And that is more than a nuance, as is maintaining eye contact. With money and attention so scarce now, effective communication skills have never been more important important. Cutting through the clutter rather than blending into the blah, blah, blah will help you connect better no matter what the conversation. For more tips, hit survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. New Hampshire is under quarantine as walking corpses devour the flesh of the living. Max is 11 years old and surviving alone. Slow moving and non-thinking, the dead swarm his home. Now he must apply his Porcupine Freedom Scouts training to improvise his escape. Look for Survivor Max on Facebook, read reviews on Amazon, or read Chapter 1 at SurvivorMax.com. This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at LRN.FM. You 
may join us here on Free Talk Live. Our toll-free number for you is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can bring up uh, all kinds of ridiculous-sounding claims, and we're going to let Allison defend it here in a moment because she says that the claim isn't that this man, Fireburner or whatever his name is, we'll get back into that. Fireburn uh, Doctor. Fireburn Doctor or something like that. Uh, she claims he's not claiming that he can fix people's burns over the phone. That's good. And so I want to hear more from her about exactly what the claims are, but I also want to let you know about how to save big money on your Amazon purchases. You probably already shop at Amazon. You know they've got a great selection, huge selection, great prices just by default. But what if you could save 20% on all the purchases that you make uh, purchases you make through Amazon from here on out? What if that was possible? Well, all you have to do is go to saveitpurse.com. That's save at purse, save at purse. Dot com and get signed up there through Purse. When you do that, Free Talk Live will get a portion of any future purchases that you make, and you get to choose your discount. So you want to save 40%? You might be able to do that. Mark, you just got twenty or 45% off a Lego set. My son did, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if he's got his own account. I presume he was using yours. but uh, I presume he's used my wife's. Okay. I don't get to buy anything on the internet. Got it. Well, anyway, 45%, that's pretty sweet. But 20% is the average. So, you know, if you are willing to wait, you can get more than 20% off. If you want to get your order filled relatively quickly, just set it at 20%. You decide what the discount is. And so go to save at purse.com. The catch is you have to have Bitcoin. So if you don't have Bitcoin, you can't get these discounts. So go to saveatpurse.com and get started. Let's bring Allison back on the line here. Allison, you were calling about a, a, a person who the skeptics are saying claims that he can heal burns by phone. Tell me why that's not the case. Do we have Allison? You know what? We're having uh, difficulties with our internet connection here. Maybe our board operator can put Allison on. Thank you, Hello, uh, board operator. Hello. Go ahead, Allison. Go Hi. ahead. Firstly, those skeptics are cynics. These are people who not have tested it. They only gleaned their information from the BBC slander that was from ill information because they were a bought and paid for program by Pierre Falani. That's a long story. Um, it's, it's, the fact is that all these tests have happened since the BBC program. There are over 1,300 people from 56 countries, 52 states in the U.S., who've heard me or somebody on the radio have heard about Fireburn Doctor and have called in their burns or their shingles, their pain's gone in minutes, their burns receding to nothing in hours, regardless of what they believe. They can think it's horse pucky, hmm. it's still So there's video, is there a video it's, of this somewhere, like someone's burn healing within yes, hours? Fireburn Do yes, firebundoctor.com, uh -huh. and there's the film Rush, the documentary, which is on the firebundoctor.com website. That it explains, it gives people a sense of what... It sounds like hocus pocus. I mean, what is it that... It's free. What is it that is... You know, what are you doing? What is he doing, allegedly? Is he... He's actually... He's functional within a realm of activity we've long lost from our cultures. It just... People need to see the proof. You don't have to believe me, you see. You can continue thinking it's horse pucky, but as long as you call in your burn next time you're... You're pulled out of a house fire, or whether you've burned yourself in the mud. Mark, you're a fireman. Uh, you are dealing with fire on a regular basis. I imagine that you've caught a burn or two. Uh, I've gotten a few burns. I'm uh, just going next time. You don't have to just call. You, you can text. They can't. You can. <laughs> you can text your burn healed in 30 minutes. You no, it's not how it works. That's yes, it does. It says right here. Fire. Save no, this number on your you cell get, phone and call get. or text this within 30 minutes of a burn. Would you like to know how it's working? Well, I'd what love happens? to know how it works, but I'm just saying that I, I can do it by text. Data is passed through to the Fireburn Doctor team, which is a team that monitors that line for 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year for the last six years, nonstop, taking calls from people in emergencies, um, whether or they're first, first degree or texts, and that data is then given to the Fireburn Doctor. Now, when I say about operationality within a field that we haven't even heard of hardly, it is within the biocontinuum itself, which is Carl Jung and, and Einstein territory. The biofield is a proven field, and he's operational within that. You are not going to understand it with your tiny little pea brain. None of us do. <laughs> but the fact that you get What's to he charge? that in your own body. He says it's free. <laughs> it's free, huh? proof in your own body. This, you know, whether you're a cynic, whether you're a skeptic, doesn't actually matter at all. We've taken care of babies. 
people who didn't even know their data was passed through. And still, the pain is gone in minutes. Let me ask you this. Um, let, let me ask you this. It says that it happens to be true. You know, well, I'm, I'm not guy, saying. I'm okay, not well, saying it's a not true. I'm asking you a question. <laughs> Um, so it says your name at birth. So, for instance, my dad yes. was uh, named Clarence uh, Edward, but people called him Ed. So if he said, if he called and in and said, "Your name, well, your, when you first were here, your first, your first location." Why data. does that matter? Because it's the only way to locate them. You're not going to huh. understand this field of operationality. You can read more, and if you listen to some of the radio shows that have been recorded, there's deep ex explanations as to how this works, that you can be taught to do it yourself. Anyone can learn how to do well, this. Well, you know, i got to say that if it's true that they're actually not charging people for this... No, they'll uh, never, ever be charged for, period. Then we are very threatened. You know, it's not as objectionable things. as some scammy sounding stuff out there, right? Like Thank it's you. asking somebody to. If, if you text, if you burn down. yourself, you know, obviously you're going to want to put some ice on it, and there are certain treatments that that you can use immediately yes, to, yeah, uh, to, to to handle that. But I, I mean, I see where you're coming from. Uh, that you know, if you want to text something to some phone number, and all of a sudden your burn heals magically within uh, in a few hours, then that's that's no, no, it's for thirty minutes. Oh wait, thirty minutes. Thir wait. Where did Within you say it was 30, 30 minutes? minutes of the burn accident, yes. Okay. Within so, the first 30 minutes of the accident happening, call through your the data of the She's saying you have to call help. within 30 minutes, Mark. I see. Yes, um, may send a call through within 30 minutes. They or you can text that. a picture of the burn, and yeah, the person and the burn. The Do burn I have to send two pictures, person. one of like a face and then where the burn is? No, or it's the just... headshot of the person. It's, it's enough to identify them in the sea of consciousness. The headshot is the face. No, no, right. <laughs> No, she's saying yeah, as long as it's a picture of the burn, that's enough for him to be able to identify the person through the biosphere. Yeah, order. not yeah, not the actual burn itself. We'd not if it's a burned leg, we don't want to see the leg. We want to see the person who it is. Oh. She's saying the headshot. Okay, Mark. I'm sorry. I thought that I thought it was. Come clear. on, pay attention here. I'm doing my best. <laughs> Oh, I mean, Allison. I spoke to Michael well, Shermer and and um, um, what's the great great Randy. Both of them have attacked me because for mm -hmm. 11 years I've seen this on hundreds of people and animals, and it happens to be true. It's a bioreparative technology that we now, all. Is there a, is there like a conspiracy to keep this out of the mainstream media? Do you think? Well, yes. It means a bunch of people are out of business. Medical can't do this. The burn centers can't do this. I've had death threats from it because I've never shut my mouth for 11 years on it. Death and threats. People Death threat. Yeah, I had a death threat from a burn center. Man, I don't hardly I, ever get any. I don't ever remember the last time I got a death threat. It's controversial because this being public property as it needs to be, this will put people out of business. What is public and, property? You know, it means owned. anyone who's tested this knows it's true, and nobody can ever take that from them. It can never be slandered. And have you tested trash. it? Have you tested it? Absolutely, entirely. Okay. I went to see him in person. That's why it's so exciting. Did it and heal I'm, faster I when you were in person? Time. I didn't go for burns. I went because I'd seen <laughs> what had happened to a friend of mine. But you, you have herself. you have been burned and allegedly healed by this man? No, I've never had a burn and, and used that. But I'm part of So the you're person. such a believer, really? even though you yourself no, have never actually things. why don't you burn yourself I've and put, it, put it through the, the process? Why would you do that? To prove it's true. I've, Thank you, Allison, I've for your call tonight. Right. All right. We can't have a conversation. We're just gonna yammer. A fifty five four fifty free. What do you think? <laughs> Is it possible? Do you want to try it? 855-450 free. I'm not suggesting you actually do that. Free Talk Life. Turn on the news and you'll hear stories of natural disasters, political unrest, and financial crisis. In times of uncertainty, how will you take care of your family's most basic needs? Food Insurance, America's most trusted provider of freeze-dried emergency food, has solutions that fit your family's needs and budget. Our meals are delicious, nutritious, and come with a guaranteed 25-year shelf life. For a limited time, we are sending a free freeze-dried meal to all listeners of this program. Go to foodinsurance.com and request your free meal today. That's foodinsurance.com. The human body is more than 60% water. Your brain and muscles are 75% water. And your blood is 92% water. Water is vital to your body, and alkalizing your water is the key to keep it running at its best. AlkaVision Plasma pH drops keep your entire body healthy, boosts energy, promotes weight loss, and even fights cancer. Call 800-518-7615 or go to AlkaVision.com to find out more. That's ALKAVision.com. Free Talk Live. So, yeah, Mark, they did ban all foreign flags from being flown in the event that they are the only flag being flown. But well, nonetheless, I now mean... Now it's the flying of a flag? 
$30, excuse me, $50 fine and 30 hours of community service. That's dumb. This doesn't really even affect most. What do you most, think, just the land of the free? <laughs> most of the um, Mexican flags I see are uh, CDs hanging from people's rear view mirrors, mm -hmm. stickers. I think we could qualify that. That's not a flag. That's a, it doesn't look like a flag. Got them, them colors on it. No. Go, we're going to charge a you a $50 fine. $50. That's and right. that CD, what if the CD has music on it? Don't matter, it's a flag. <laughs> it's not a flag, it's a CD. If you're flying it Clearly, like a flag, sir, it's a flag, my you, friend. It's not a flag, it's it's hanging from fishing wire from my rear view mirror. Hanging equals flag. No, <laughs> hanging does not flag equal flag. equals $50 fine, pay up. Well, I have a... Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, mymagicmud.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. I've been told no in many different ways. I give you an order and you're going to obey it. Who told you to go this way? You can do that and you have to leave here. You cannot bring Simon to the rally. Walk with me. Well, I'm, I'm, no, I'm comfortable me. here, actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, whoa. Hey, 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 hey. Who do you think you Excuse are? me. There is no video or audio allowed in this office. No, I have work today. This is you ain't going to make it. Wait, no, no. Wait a minute. Hey! Oh my god! Unbelievable! Why are you running from Because you're scared me! What am I being detained for? You're being served. What is this? You're being served. What is this? Bureaucrats have a funny way of telling people no. That's the sound of the men working on the chain. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. You can join us here. Do you believe that last caller? She claims that she knows somebody who can heal burns from a distance with merely the photograph of the burn victim and that uh, the burns will be healed within hours of the, uh, the phone call or the text. Mark, you said that apparently you can also text them, and they claim that they'll do it for free. Uh, the toll-free number here tonight, if you want to join us, is 855-450-FREE. That's Maybe they're creating a body of evidence. 855 <laughs> 450 free. Also, Skype well, in at Skype username lrn.fm. I must say that I am skeptical, um, and I'm, I don't mind using the term skeptical because yep. I don't believe this until it's been tested. Right. However, um, I, I think it's fair to test it. Um, the question is, is that, you know, if you get, say, a first degree burn um, and, you know, you might not be thinking about it in an hour or two. It might not uh, feel that. Oh, you know what kind of burns I get? Those ones on the roof of your mouth. Those are the worst. I Well, they are not well, the worst not by the worst, any stretch of the imagination. Annoying. But they certainly are common. common. Yeah. Next time I get one of those, I'm going to take, pic take a picture of my face, <laughs> text this thing, and get rid of it by the morning. Yeah, but those go away relatively quickly, right? Not like, by the morning. No? Not that quickly. You must have had quickly. some really bad ones because usually— I just can't wait. I like my food not, hot generally anyway. If it's not fixed in the morning, I don't notice it in the morning. It's, I've been called asbestos mouth by my wife. Uh, I want to go to Glenn. He's in Philly. Glenn, you're on Free Talk Live. Do you buy this? Go ahead, Glenn. You need to let your pizza cool a few minutes. Yeah, I should, but I'm not gonna. Yeah. Right. Uh, um, I, yeah, I caught the last. I just tuned in the last couple minutes of her. I've heard her before, 
Um, she's, you know, pre- present, you know, the shtick in a fairly standard fashion. I, you know, tend to be skeptical, but I don't know if you really, like, I was, the reason I ended up calling in is because, to be honest with you, your, your behavior in communicating her with, with her seemed kind of like bizarre, like it freaked you out. And you'd ask her a question and she'd get two words out and you'd, just, you'd talk over and ask another question. Like, it's like it was freaking you out and you, you, you were, I don't know, it was like you were afraid of something or afraid of being, a label of kook or something. I'm, trying, like, I'm thinking, Weird. I don't know. Right? What, I mean, I must not have noticed well, myself were, doing that. Mark, did you notice yeah, well, anything like, like that during that call? She was getting back and forth uh, between us. Yeah. Well, she was. She was trying. She was speaking at a normal rate, but then, like, um, you, you, I couldn't tell exactly which one of you it was. Well, she was answering. also talking over top like of us. I mean, we'd try to get a, a sentence well, out, and she'd start yammering. So, you know, that, that door swings both ways. Yeah, right. well, and I besides would, that, yeah, we also was, brought her back from yeah. a break, so it wasn't like we're afraid of talking to her about this. We, right, right, uh, we right, held right, her right. I, it was just, I was just, you know, I call, you know, I just end up listening sometimes, calling them once in a while, and I'm like, wow, what's with them tonight? They're like, they're, they're just like you'd ask a question, she'd start, and then you'd talk over I do. It was just a very unusual, just to come in on the fly, you know, and then hear this unusually, you know, this uncharacteristic, inefficient <laughs> communication. I'm well, like, what are they doing? What's going on? One you know, thing I think weird, um, I happens is is that some people don't have sort of a cadence to fit with us particularly well. Yeah. And um, yeah. so, like, I was asking her about texting there, and she kept sort of say, denying it when it says on the website that you could. She wasn't it. listening. She right. just wanted to right. keep speaking. And that's so that doesn't that doesn't count as bad communication on our part when the the, the lady wasn't listening. Well, it was a, well, it, it was it was I guess it was mutual or it's. Like, it reminds me of modem communication, you know, 9600 N81. If you're not, you know, the parameters aren't synced up. I, it makes you crazy, like, especially in, like, in talk radio, because, like, you know, if people aren't, well, you know, or, or what's, the, what's the worst is somebody says something, and they start to let their voice trail off as long as, as, as though they're coming to closure, and then you get ready to start to talk, and then they, they pick up again, and they keep going, and then they start to, uh, you know, it, yeah. it's funny. You have to have this, like, there's this optimal way of, saying something and then stopping and let the other person take a turn. Yeah, there's but nothing it, perfect it about trying to keep the, the cadence right on uh, radio. There's no doubt about it. I think she got her message out pretty effectively. We had her on for an entire segment. Yeah. Her message was that you can call oh, yeah. a phone number and or text a yeah. phone number with a picture of the person or call the phone number and give yeah. their birth name well, and that their uh, burns will be healed. Well, what's weird, yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm familiar. What's weird about that is, and I'm, I'm skeptical of it too, of course, but What's weird about that is why specifically burns? You know, typically when you're talking about faith healing, usually like like mm-hmm. in a religious context, it really doesn't matter, you know, what the malady is. You know, you pray and then, you know, where your legs lengthen, your hearing is fixed or what, you know, it doesn't it doesn't matter. But this is very um, malady specific, you know, it's very unusual. Well, it's done through the biosphere, yeah, that's why. Right. <laughs> oh, the, 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 well, but yeah, she's like in like the collective unconscious thing, or so, you know, usually people end up talking about a collective unconscious or a Kashuk record or something like that. Glenn, so, thanks anyway. for your call tonight. Right. I appreciate the feedback. Uh, you know, Mark, if if it's hard sometimes for us, you know, especially when we're dealing with a crazy caller who doesn't want to stop talking. Uh, it, you know, it's hard to have a good conversation with somebody like that. But I, I think we still need to do our best to keep on each other if we notice that we're unfairly stepping on someone. And I didn't know, I, you know, there was definitely some stepping going on there, but I didn't feel like it was not a mutual thing or whatever. You know, um, the show Free Talk Live's changed over time, uh, just sort of the way that we do things. Uh, we were, we we came up in talk radio in the time of the screamers, you know, back when uh, uh, it was okay for people to yell at callers, just like, um, I don't know, who Mike, uh, Michael Savage did that at one point. I don't know what he does. I haven't listened to his show in years. But, um, you know, the show's morphed since then. But if we get somebody who's clearly bananas, um, mm-hmm. we're liable to bat them back and forth uh, pretty, you know, I mean, that's just, it's kind of one of the things you do. It's entertainment. Talk radio, to some extent, There's con- it's conflict-oriented entertainment to some extent. Yes, it's supposed to be educational. Hopefully it is educational. When someone calls in with something like this that just seems so out of line with our audience. So there's some places where this may really fly, but it, it ain't free talk live. There's a long, long piece over at skepticblog.org by Dr. Michael Shermer about this. I think he's a doctor, if I'm recalling the interview we did with him years ago. Uh, and he goes into emails back and forth between one of these remote healers. I don't know if it's the same person behind the Fireburn Doctor website as was being promoted here by our caller tonight. Uh, but there's a lot of emails back and forth between them. 
there's another one, and and basically I'll make the point that he makes in the beginning, and that is that, and and I'm sure that some people are going to see this as an excuse, but Shermer points out that the uh, they can't test this because of ethical considerations. Like you can't ask someone to burn themselves in a controlled test. Yeah. You can't you can't pay a college student twenty dollars and have them come in and set themselves on fire or put their hand on a stove or whatever. You can't do that ethically within sort of science as it is. I and get that that's a difficulty. You would think, though, that, um, I mean, there's some things that you can sort of ass- assert for yourself. Um, many times, scientists, uh, you know, type folks. I've been, The reason that I'm um, so uh, sort of against flu vaccines is because I was told uh, the first time I got a flu vaccine and got deathly ill is really the, the best description for um, the way I was feeling at the time. I got deathly ill from a flu vaccine. I was told basically by some medical professionals, more than one, that's not possible. It's just not possible. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, I may have been saying that I got the flu from the flu or something like that. And that clearly um, flew from the flu vaccine. And that's not possible. But, um, you know, like maybe somebody could have said, hey, it's possible you have a severe, um, you know, allergic reaction or some people get um, flu sickness or whatever it is that they could have told me. But as a result, I felt very badly. I, I did it again um, and I f- got deathly ill again. I don't need to do this 34 times in a yeah. controlled double blind experiment to be able to say, look, I get sick from the flu uh, vaccine. And I can assure you that some Nimrod is happy to uh, call in and say, you're wrong. You're anti-science and a variety of other epithets that they'll toss my way but hey you know if you get a burn for kicks you just got a burn right like there's not much you're going to do about it it's going to be a, be there as long as it's going to be there take a picture go to the yeah. fireburndoctor.com take a picture of yourself send it off to him and say hey i got a burn will you fix it for me and they'll do it for free who cares well you know it sounds like it's no big deal that they'll do it for free but if you're not treating the burn then that's a problem right it depends like on the burn okay well i mean if it's a burn generally you want to put ice on it there's certain things you want to do right to, uh, it doesn't to treat make, a burn. they don't make burns go away who doesn't make but treating putting it, ice on it treating I gotcha. it it'll stop the burning though right a little bit it'll cool it down a, there's some a things bit. you might want to do but there's some home remedies that you can uh, that you can apply if it's really serious obviously you should probably go to the hospital rather than calling this phone number and waiting around <laughs> So text it to him. You don't have to wait. Our it's a toll-free picture number of your face is 855 450 free. Uh, I don't know if I would advise people to do this first. Has this ever happened to you? You're applying for some type of a loan, whether online or in person, when it's time to hit submit, your nerves spike because you're not sure you'll get the approval you seek. There's a different way to approach life. It's called Credit Success Secrets Revealed. Credit Success Secrets Revealed is a revolutionized step-by-step system that you can follow to get all the credit you desire today. We're talking about secured and unsecured credit, car leases, credit cards, and cash. Call 800-568-8960. Credit Success Secrets Revealed works no matter what your current situation, whether you've had bad credit, never had credit, or looking for some business credit, or any type of credit. Please call 800-568-8960. We don't take any personal information. Your personal information is way too valuable to trust to a third-party email or a website that doesn't answer the phone. At Credit Success Secrets Revealed, we show you step-by-step what to place into the financial computer systems that control your credibility in the marketplace today. We practically fill out the forms for you. Credit Success Secrets Revealed works 100% of the time. Call now, 800-568-8960. That's 800-568-8960. 800-568-8960. No way. Is that a real bullet necklace? No, it's a 9mm bullet necklace with matching earrings, you'll notice. Those are awesome. Where'd you get them? They found them at PatriotNecklace.com. Wow. They have a variety of calibers and necklaces and earrings and keychains. PatriotNecklace.com? PatriotNecklace.com. Your choice of caliber bullet includes a rugged American-made stainless steel dog tag chain. A percentage of every sale goes to military and service-related charities. And get a discount by entering GCN at checkout. Show your patriotism and support our troops with a bullet necklace from PatriotNecklace.com. KDArmor.com is your one-stop shop for the most affordable body armor period. With packages starting at $169.99 and free shipping on every order. Why would you go anywhere else? KD offers soft armor and rifle threat rated armor up to level 4. Go to KDArmor.com and get your body armor today while you still can. Mention this ad and receive a free water purification kit for a limited time with any body armor package. Go to KDArmor.com. That's C-A-T-I-Armor.com. Come and take it. 
This is a national health care alert from the Health Hotline. If you, a family member, or a loved one suffers from knee pain and have Medicare as your primary insurance, we've got great news. You could qualify for a pain-relieving knee brace at little or no cost to you. Get free delivery and all the paperwork is handled by our accredited suppliers at no charge to you. So if you're on Medicare and have knee pain, don't wait. You may qualify to immediately receive a pain-relieving knee brace at little or no cost. Friendly agents are standing by 24-7 to help you. We also have other pain-relieving braces, too, for your shoulder, ankle, or back. You may be eligible to get these items and more at little or no out-of-pocket cost. Our friendly representatives are standing by now to help you, so please call now. 800-301-2963. 800-301-2963. 800-301-2963. 800-301-2963. FM is proud to announce our official listening apps for Android and iOS devices. Now you can easily tune into our streams anywhere, anytime on your smartphone or tablet. Just visit apps.lrn.fm or search for lrn.fm in the Android or Apple app stores. Please download, rate it five stars, then share the link on social media, and let your friends and family know how you're listening to lrn.fm. Download it now, free at apps.lrn.fm. That's apps.lrn.fm. This is your Robertson Roberts Brokerage Daily Precious Metals Update. In early trading Wednesday, gold is $3 lower at $1,146 per ounce. Silver is up $0.08 at $16.03 per ounce. Bitcoin is trading at $244 US dollars. Looking for silver but don't want long delays? We have plenty of Australian silver spiders and kangaroos in stock ready to ship. Give us a call at 800-874-9760 or visit us online at rrbi.co. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. With you in the studio tonight, you've got Ian. And Mark. And you can join us online. Just drop by. Uh, Actually, no, I'm sorry, you can't. Something's wrong with our website. So you can't join us online uh, through freetalklive.com right now, but sometime later on, I'm sure it'll be back. Uh, normally, you know, it's up. Normally, it's like, you know, probably 99.9% uptime, and this is that 0.1%. Uh, Ian and Mark here will take your calls, though. Our internet is working here. The toll free number is 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. We have Skype as well. Skype username is lrn.fm. Maybe you are looking to launch your own small business. Maybe you already have a small business and something has changed. Your information has changed, uh, your contact info, and now you've got to update your business card. This is one of the things that's frustrating about you know sure. business cards. Is you, put the, you, you put the information down, and then for whatever reason, something's got to change. Right. So, you know, it's expensive to get those business cards in a lot of places, but not... At Vistaprint. In fact, we've got a code for you that'll get you 500 business cards. That'll get you started with your business for just $9.99. Uh, when you enter promo code FTL at the checkout over at Vistaprint.com, they guarantee that you will love your products every time or they'll make it right. They've got an amazing customer service experience and they offer custom design services to help you design the perfect product for your business. Now, obviously, with a custom design service, you're going to pay a little more than $9.99. Uh, but, you know, if, you, if you're if you prepared to just put your card together right now on their website at vistaprint.com, they've got an, a, an amazingly simple tool that you can use to build your own card. Uh, you can also even upload your logo to one of their existing designs, or you can upload your entire design. Maybe you've got that uh, graphic. You can just upload that thing. It's, uh, it's super easy. I've gone through the process. I ordered some Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree promo cards through them. And you can get this discount with code FTL. It's 500 business cards starting at just $9.99. It's up to a 50% savings over regular site pricing. It's a fantastic deal. So go and get started. There are tons of layouts and design options. Your card can really reflect you. So go to vistaprint.com and use code FTL to get those 500 cards starting at just $9.99. Uh, as we continue here, you may join us toll free at 855 450 free. The caller earlier, and, and and we can come back later on to uh, the story we, we started out the show that this guy drinking goat's blood who's running as a libertarian candidate in Florida. I do want to come back to that. 
But uh, this lady called in, claims that she knows some guy who allegedly heals people's burns over the phone or like remotely, basically. Like you can call or text this person and they claim that they'll do it for free. But the thing that they pointed out here at, uh, at the skeptic blog, Mark, is that there's some real ethical considerations with actually doing this in some kind of a controlled experiment because you're not supposed to be inflicting harm on people intentionally to go through the process of controlled experimentation. Uh, and in order to do this in a controlled manner, I would think that, and I'm no, you know, I'm no scientist, but I, I would think that you would want to burn someone in basically the same spot. So maybe, you know, two arms, right? Burn them on one arm one day and then call this burn doctor guy up and then see how long that burn takes to heal, and then burn the guy on the other arm, you know, a week later, whenever the burn doctor has moved on or whatever, and and then time that one and, and video it or whatever and see how long that takes to heal and actually compare the two and see if there's any, any differences uh, and then do that over multiple people. The only problem is that, you know, there are ways to set this experiment up. The only problem is that most organizations that would engage in such scientific experimentation won't actually burn people purposefully. Yes. So that means if you can't burn someone purposefully, then you'd have to like hang out at a burn unit or something like that uh, at a hospital and just try to pitch people on this idea, which probably isn't going to work very, very well. You know, people are going to want to go get treated rather than call some kook uh, on the phone. Well, the and- best thing to do is is that <laughs> um, to do both. Right, go to the burn treatment center and then call the. Uh, but that's not. But we're talking about experimenting here, right? You can't do both if you're doing an experiment to try to true. prove that this I thing get what you're saying. Yes. is is working. But you can't really do. You know, you can't burn people because you're not supposed to do that ethically. And Michael Shermer actually asks here in his blog over at skepticblog.org, if you have any suggestions, he says, on how we might do this while also meeting the ethical requirements of an institutional review board or an ethical review board that oversees the ethical treatment of human and animal subjects in experiments, then please let me know. Now, with that aside, uh, when you do look for this person's website online, Fireburn Doctor, uh, you'll get interesting results, including Don't Get Burned by FireburnDoctor.com. This was posted at the Rogues Gallery, which is the official blog of the Skeptic's Guide to the Universe from Evan Bernstein in 2010. He says that uh, the Skeptic's Guide to the Universe, apparently it's a podcast, listener Ward McCreerty of Southern California has recently made me aware of a scam called FireburnDoctor.com. A cursory Google search has revealed that FBD has been on the radar of the skeptics for about a year now. But before I went to find out which of my favorite intrepid skeptics or skeptical organizations out there in webland has taken the lead on this bunk, I delved into the fantasy of FBD alone and unafraid. Free instant burn recovery blazes the headline of their homepage. Yeah. Call an 818 number, that's Los Angeles, within the first 30 minutes of exposure. No pain, grafting, scarring, or risk. There's an all-caps appeal to mothers, but not fathers, to call if your child is burned by fire, laser, explosion, or scalding water. Perhaps best of all, you don't even need to call. You can text and email in your burn emergency, assuming those means are more accessible in this time of excruciating pain, panic, and injury. Be sure to include the victim's correct name, date of birth, and place of birth. Or simply text or email a picture of the victim with no additional information required. Next comes their link to their very own public service announcement. I have to give FBD credit for this one. It's very effective, yet equally transparent, to usurp the public's perception of PSAs. That takes some chutzpah. It's also a red flag that a storm of pseudoscience is brewing. According to FBD, their PSA says, quote, contains vital information on the burn eradication project that saves lives and stops the terrible pain, suffering, and disfigurement from burns, using a state-of-the-art process that bypasses the deleterious effects of burns at a phenomenal rate, for free, from a distance, with no risk, drastically reducing the need for expensive medical procedures, unquote. It sounds like a bunch of hokey, kooky bullcrap, right? Yeah. Sounds too good to be true, but I don't particularly see. I mean, you know, I don't. I don't see a problem if they are not charging anything for it. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they're going to give your text number out and they're going to sell it to somebody. You know, and you're getting all kinds of stupid texts or something like that. I have no idea. Yeah, that's a good good point, Mark. Maybe this is some sort of data mining operation. I don't know, but uh, I, I mean, I guess I see where you're coming from. If it's if grandma is in the background, like okay, little little kid gets burned, right? Because kids probably get burned pretty commonly. 
little kid gets burned, mom's taking care of the burn or dad's taking care of the burn by, you know, cooling it down, running it under some cool water, put an ice pack on it or, or whatever the, you know, the best effective uh, thing to do is. Google says that uh, cooling the burn is the most important thing to do first. So holding it under cool but not cold running water. So maybe an ice pack, not the best idea. Uh, don't take your medical advice from me, folks. Uh, but anyway, so you got one parent treating the uh, the issue. Maybe grandma or somebody who's in the background who can't really help with anything. If they send a text message to the fireburn doctor, then I guess there's no real harm, right? But if if a parent decides that they're going to text the fireburn doctor first and foremost, rather than applying immediate aid to the child, that then I would ludicrous. say there's a problem with that, right? That sounds ludicrous. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, and, and certainly you're not going to want to use your kid as the test case to see if this process works and like not treat the burn either. Just it sounds like a know, bad idea. Putting faith in this fire burn doctor uh, person. Anyway, so we just shared with you some of the excerpts from their PSA and the rogues gallery continues with their post. They say, I know you've gotten the gist of what's going on here by now, but go ahead and keep pursuing their website uh, or perusing rather their website. Read their sections called News Protocol and their 20 or so pages of testimonials. According to FBD lead enthusiast Allison McDermott, lady that called earlier, her name was Allison. Yeah. Their state-of-the-art process, she claims, uses a remote technology based on ancient science, unquote. According quote, unquote, to the ancient quote unquote science. Yeah. <laughs> According to the JRF's quick blog post about this technology back in December of 2009. Ever she, notice how the people that, uh, you know, perhaps aren't using science really want to appropriate that term? I the mean, term science, science? Yeah, science has a has has some great branding behind it. Um, it's Our process is sciency. Yeah, and we, we, we employ scientific methods. She explains that the fire burn doctor uses a burn victim's name, age, and location to, quote, locate that person in the sea of consciousness, unquote, and override the self-destruct signal emitted by his or her brain when a burn occurs, thereby activating the body's power to heal itself. That's the claim. Now, so basically what the we have The body will here, heal itself when it comes to burns. The question true. is, How will quickly? it be one second faster if you bother to text this number? And, of course, the only way to know that would be to actually test in some sort of a study where you can check between No, I think you can pretty, pretty easily just dismiss this out of hand as nonsense. Well, yes, obviously. But if you don't want to di dismiss it out of hand as nonsense, feel free. Do whatever you want. All right, but there's more to say about this uh, claim here. And if you want to share your thoughts, you can join us. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE, 855-450-3733. More nonsense analysis. Coming up. As a pioneer of the e-commerce movement, Overstock.com is proud to be the first major retailer to accept Bitcoin. Overstock was the first because Patrick Byrne, Overstock's CEO and founder, firmly believes in personal freedom and cryptocurrency. Over the past 16 years, Overstock has furnished over 18 million homes with a diverse line of products to suit everyone's unique styles and preferences. Support Overstock and freedom of choice while enjoying free shipping on orders of 0.211 Bitcoin or more. When the most powerful and destructive witch in 13th century France chooses a successor, her frightened young protege, Liana, escapes into the wild. Pursued by witch hunters, the town watch, and her mistress, Liana's only hope is a pair of newly returned crusaders, one with PTSD, the other a complete rascal. The Witch's Hand by Wendy Joseph is a cut above the usual sword and sorcery fair. Available now at your favorite booksellers or visit wendyjosephwrites.com. Ross Ulbricht was convicted in early 2015 of running the infamous Silk Road underground market. The Silk Road was a gift to humanity and helped reduce the harms brought on by drug prohibition. For this good deed, Ross has been sentenced to life in prison with no possibility of parole. Now, an appeal is Ross's only chance, and he needs your support. Please visit freeross.org, where you can contribute via various methods, including Bitcoin. Visit freeross.org. That's freeross.org. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. 
You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keenan, the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Wednesday, October 7th, 2015. Silver is trading at $15.97 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,153 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $246. Antiwar.com reports in the eight days since the Taliban took over the northern city of Kunduz, Afghanistan, Afghan forces have repeatedly claimed that they have the area virtually retaken. The Taliban has shifted tactics, however, and seems to be holding out in much of the city. Officials say the Taliban is suddenly more interested in hit-and-run tactics in Kunduz, attacking troops on motorbike and quickly disappearing into the residential areas, allowing them to harass the troops trying to advance into the city and slowing them significantly. The tactic likely reflects the superior number of Afghan troops and the recent addition of U.S. air power into the area and is aiming to avoid a quick loss and by extension a quick win by the military by delaying and hoping to wear out the Afghan forces who notoriously have questionable morale and not much training. Kunduz thus remains contested and likely will be for the foreseeable future. Keeping the city soaking up large number of Afghan forces is likely part of the plan for the Taliban Taliban as it takes pressure off their southern holdings and may allow them to expand elsewhere in the country without much resistance. You can support FPP Radio by shopping online. Whether you're looking for precious metals, bitcoins, or books, you'll find that and more at shop.fppradio.com. Every purchase you make from one of my affiliates, like Namecheap and Amazon, at shop.fppradio.com helps fund FPP Radio. That's shop.fppradio.com. UPI reports the U.S. Department of Justice will reportedly release more than 6,000 inmates from federal prison across the country beginning this month due to rising prison populations and punishments now considered unjust that were exacted decades ago on nonviolent drug offenders. The mass release will occur between October 30th and November 2nd, according to officials, and will be the largest one-time prisoner release in U.S. history. The decision is part of an overall plan by justice leaders to get the escalating nation nationwide prison population under control and provide a respite for nonviolent inmates who have spent, in some cases, decades behind bars due to the overly tough punitive terms handed out by courts during the 1980s and 1990s. The Justice Department has not yet formally announced the plan to release the prisoners. The New York Times cited anonymous sources in reporting the story. Earlier this year, the U.S. Sentencing Commission announced changes to guidelines that eased penalties for nonviolent drug offenders who were subjected to harsh prison terms under different tougher guidelines in the past. The U.S. Sentencing Commission said in April that its changing guidelines could potentially qualify nearly half of the country's nonviolent drug offenders for early release. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. Reuters reports a Montana judge ruled on Tuesday that one of the drugs planned for use in a lethal injection mix violates state law, effectively putting a hold on executions in the state, which has only two inmates on death row. District Court Judge Jeffrey Sherlock said in his ruling, Montana law stipulates that one of the drugs in its lethal injection mix must be an ultra-fast acting barbiturate, and the current drug intended to play that role, pentobarbital, does not meet the criteria. The decision is unlikely to have an immediate impact impact in Montana, which has no executions planned and has conducted only three since 1976 when the U.S. Supreme Court reinstated the death penalty. The last execution in Montana was in 2006. The judge wrote in the order, the state of Montana is hereby enjoined from using the drug pentobarbital in its lethal injection protocol unless and until the statute authorizing lethal injection is modified in conformance with this decision. A spokesman for the Montana Attorney General's office said that they were studying the decision and would not issue 
to comment on the ruling. Montana's three-drug lethal injection procedure was struck down about three years ago by a state court judge for differing from a two-drug protocol spelled out in state law. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. From the creation of the Bible in 1912 by a struggling Baltimore book salesman to the day in 1493 when Christopher Columbus and his crew looked back on their voyage and realized what they truly discovered was themselves. The Onion looks back at This Week in History. On July 21st, 1969, astronaut Neil Armstrong became the first human to set foot on the surface of the moon. The f***ing moon, for Christ's sake. This is Tranquility Base. The Eagle has landed. Jesus H. Christ, Houston. We're on the f***ing moon. Over. Roger, Tranquility. We copy that. We cannot believe you are on the f***ing moon. I'm descending the ladder. Just one more step and I'm... Holy living f I absolutely am standing on the surface of the f***ing moon. Jesus H. Christ in a chicken basket. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live. Free Talk Live. You can join us here. Just dial toll free and bring up whatever's on your mind. 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733 in the studio tonight. You've got me, Ian. And me, Mark. We're talking about crazy people, or at least that's the way it certainly seems on its face. There are actually people who apparently believe uh, that you can call a phone number or text it, text a picture. Or call and give uh, the person's birth name and birth date and place of birth, apparently, to the person on the other end. And that that person will have their burns healed. If you've got a burn, they claim that you call this number and it will uh, will heal your burn in a faster manner than just your body Within would Within hours is what the claim is, right? That's the, that's the claim. They, they claim days at most. Well, my <laughs> most of the burns I get are with, healed within days. Yeah. Um, of course, most of the burns I get are from eating my pizza too soon. So if you want to share your comments here, you're welcome to join us just to bring you up to speed. The story here that, well, so we had a caller claiming that she believed all this, and her name was Allison. And when you start looking into this Burn Doctor uh, guy's website, fireburndoctor.com, you see her name around quite a bit. So she seems like she's sort of like the PR person for the Fireburn Doctor. Yeah, I basically. don't think she, I mean, she may have early on gave that impression, but it's after speaking to her to some extent, it was pretty clear that she was involved in the organization. Right. That's what I'm saying. She's like a PR person for yeah. them, or maybe it's his wife, or I don't know. Uh, but anyway, she's mentioned in a lot of these stories, her name, Allison McDermott, and they claim that, again, that this can heal, this guy can heal burns for free. Which is, you know, made us say, This like, is the thing that makes me wonder the most. I keep on thinking about this, and this organization has been around for more than 10 years doing this Fireburn Doctor yeah. stuff. And you don't stick around doing the same thing over and over again without some kind of revenue. Does that make sense? Right. I mean, the, uh, the charitable aspect of this has run its course. So... Uh, uh, there's The only thing I've been able to come up with at this point is either... A, they sell your information or something, which seems like a terrible way to go about collecting information. And, okay. um, or B, they um, they get your telephone number and then they badger the hell out of you for money um, after you have uh, you know had your healing. Maybe it's more likely to be something related to B because when you start digging here a little bit, uh, as the skeptic blog has done, Michael Shermer. And I, was, I wasn't certain if the Skeptic blog had the same person as this Fire Doctor mm-hmm. website, uh, but it is because they mentioned Allison here on the, uh, the Skeptic blog. And then they name the man Philippe Sauvage. And she didn't, by the way, mention his name. That's when true. She, when she was on the phone with us. She just talked about how you call this number and then he's got a team who will give him, her guy or whoever it is, uh, will give, or the team will give her guy the information and then voila, you'll be uh, healed. Well, Philippe Sauvage, when you dig around, and Shermer did, there's an entire article over at the BBC, and this is what she was referring to, because she kept talking about, oh, that's from the BBC, and they did this and this and this, and you can't trust them. Some kind of paid hit piece or something she was claiming. Yeah. So, 
Philippe Sauvage is a French man who claims he can heal everything from terminal illness to the environmental ills of the planet, but his healing comes at a cost. Earlier this year, an 81-year-old widow had a visitor. The caller wanted to tell Rhoda Kansik about the incredible powers of Philippe Sauvage. Rhoda had a bad back, and her visitor said that Sauvage could heal it, but she had to go to Switzerland to see him. It's interesting. Thought this guy could heal things over the phone. Maybe, you know. Just with, burns. Yeah. Uh, Savage charges extraordinary sums because he claims he's superhuman. But we've discovered, claims the BBC, that he is in fact a super con man. Uh, quote, I said how much would it cost to go to Switzerland? And that's when she said 30,000 pounds. So I said I couldn't well, afford that. What? How do you get to, what are you taking to Switzerland to, to, for 30,000 pounds? I think that includes the, the, uh, the, the healing. I see. Uh, the alleged healing. Gotcha. She said to her, I could possibly mortgage my house. This is what she was suggested by the representative, that mm -hmm. this is how you could afford to come see this man. Fifteen years ago, Salvage appeared on French television claiming to be a healer. He showcased people who said they'd been healed by him, but after the show, thousands of viewers contacted Salvage for help, but it was a sham. Doctors could find no evidence to back up his claims, and soon hundreds of complaints were made by people who had paid money but had not been healed. In 1995, a French court found Sauvage guilty of a 500,000 pound fraud. That's pounds is in uh, British sterling or whatever. Uh, Sauvage was sentenced to five years in jail, but he'd already fled the country. He turned up in Greenland and later in the United States, claiming asylum, ruling against him. The U.S. Supreme Court, by the way, that phone number is a California number that he gives out yeah. on his website. Uh, ruling against him, the U.S. Supreme Court described him as a bigamist who'd entered the country on a false passport and evaded deportation, making him a fugitive. But while in California, he met sociologist Jane Dillon. I'm not really worried about bigamy as uh, you know a reason to keep somebody out of the particular country or ready to uh, arrest them for it or whatever. Together, they set up Catharsis, a not-for-profit religious corporation, promoting Sauvage as a healer and with the stated aim of saving the earth. Two years ago, the Plymouth, a Plymouth couple had a visit from their new neighbor. It was Jane Dillon. And uh, soon she was a regular visitor singing the praises of Philippe. Uh, Philippe Sauvage, who was now based in Europe. Simon Rhodes and Victoria Hartridge were drawn in and started to spread the word about Sauvage across the Southwest. Remember, the lady that was on the phone with us, Allison, who swore up and down how true this was, herself has never actually attempted to have a burn healed by this guy. Well, she didn't need to. Well, she hasn't had a burn, right? Like, she's a total true believer of this, but she herself has not actually gone through the process. Uh, so they were persuaded by a group of friends to pay Catharsis a fee in order to meet this supposed healer. In total, Simon calculated that he, Victoria, and their friends paid £100,000 worth of fees to see Philippe Sauvage. Jenny from West Devon also came to hear Sauvage. In June 2004, Jenny flew to see him in Switzerland, where she met Grant and 30 others. Jenny and Grant paid £7,000 each, and we've evidenced that in total, at least £150,000 have been paid to Catharsis by members of the group. Jenny wanted Sauvage to heal an ear condition. And those are really annoying. Uh, Grant wanted, to help for a friend's, uh, wanted help for a friend's sick child back home. He'd been led to believe that distant healing was well within Sauvage's powers. Jenny's ear, of course, did not improve, and Grant came away from meeting Savage, feeling cheated. Eighteen months ago, Savage was living in Rome. Susie Haslam from East Devon worked briefly for him as an unpaid nanny, having donated $12,000 to Catharsis. Susie believes that Savage knowingly cheats people. This is her nanny, uh, his nanny speaking. Quote, One evening, he actually was talking very freely, joking about various people who had come to him when he was living in France. I was appalled at the way he spoke of them. He was ridiculing them. He was calling them stupid. He was obviously exploiting them. Mm. Now, she didn't get video of that, but, you know, that's her testimony. Some of Savage's recent clients were aware of his prosecution in France, but the Catharsis website is littered with supposed medical studies. Now, this is from 2009. I don't know if they've still got this Catharsis thing around. That might be worth looking into. Littered with supposed medical studies to make him look genuine, like a demonstration of his ability to heal at a distance children with severe burns. A study that Jane Dillon says was carried out at one of America's top burns units. But the unit's director, Dr. Peter Grossman, told us Jane Dillon merely asked if she could pray for patients. 
He categorically denies being involved in a so-called study or that any impossible healing took place. So she contacted this burn unit and said, hey, can I pray for your burn victims? And the doctor said, sure, lady, please pray as much as you want. We're going to get back to work. And then, you know, ended that conversation. And she's representing that as though we've done a study at the burn university or whatever. And <laughs> no. Catharsis also claims Salvage healed a man called Buzz Crump of AIDS. We showed the evidence to a UK expert. Just one person? I mean, all these people running around with AIDS in the <laughs> right. 90s, and you just, <laughs> just Buzz Crump was the only one that we're going to do? It was the antivirals who uh, the patient was taking that reduced his viral load, and that's a standard virological response. It's very common. There's no cure here, and claiming that there is, is fraud, unquote. So he was on other medication as well. He was being treated in a variety of ways. <laughs> well, I mean, you know. Uh, so that's who we're apparently dealing with is this charlatan. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And maybe you've got some comments you want to share. Do you believe in this faith healing stuff? Distance healing? Is this guy for real? Does anybody really believe that? Besides our caller earlier? It's Free Talk Live. Has this ever happened to you? You're applying for some type of a loan, whether online or in person. When it's time to hit submit, your nerves spike because you're not sure you'll get the approval you seek. There's a different way to approach life. It's called Credit Success Secrets Revealed. Credit Success Secrets Revealed is a revolutionized step-by-step -step system that you can follow to get all the credit you desire today. We're talking about secured and unsecured credit, car leases, credit cards, and cash. Call 800-568-8960. Credit Success Secrets Revealed works no matter what your current situation, whether you've had bad credit, never had credit, or looking for some business credit, or any type of credit. Please call 800-568-8960. We don't take any personal information. Your personal information is way too valuable to trust to a third-party email or a website that doesn't answer the phone. At Credit Success Secrets Revealed, we show you step-by-step -step what to place into the financial computer systems that control your credibility in the marketplace today. We practically fill out the forms for you. Credit Success Secrets Revealed works 100% of the time. Call now, 800-568-8960. That's 800-568-8960. 800-568-8960. Hi, this is Dr. Joel Wallach, the Dead Doctors Don't Lie guy. Have you ever wondered why farmers can keep their livestock lean and healthy just by feeding them minerals in a nutrient-dense diet? Before market, they cut off their minerals, leaving them to crave high-calorie grains to fatten them up. So if weight control is this easy, why does the medical system prescribe invasive surgical gastric bypass for humans? The truth be told, according to research, you can avoid over 900 different diseases just by getting 90 essential nutrients daily. Check us out on the web at sonsoflibertyteam.com and order your Healthy Start Pack and get your 90 for life. Or dial 855-301-TEAM. I said essential, not optional, and every day. Easy. 90 for life on the web at sonsoflibertyteam.com or call 855-301-TEAM. That's 855-301-TEAM. That's 855-301-TEAM. Check us out on the web at sonsoflibertyteam.com at sonsoflibertyteam.com. Keenvention is coming up fast, October 30th through November 1st. Get your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Keenvention is an intimate event where you can meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire, including Oath Keeper Chris Reitman, Libertarian presidential candidate Daryl W. Perry, illegal Uber driver Christopher David, Neocash Radio's Dr. Darren Tapp, State Representative Mike Sylvia rated an a by the NHLA, The Seditious Sirens, The Rebel Love Show's Rob Mathias, Tech Guru Brian Sovereign, Cop blocker J.P. Freeman, new mover Dr. Taryn Lupo, longtime political activist Dennis Goddard, Church of the Invisible Hand Minister Rich Paul, Shire Dude, and dozens more. Only 100 tickets are available in advance, so lock yours in now for just $60 or with Bitcoin. That includes access to the Hello Keen Costume Dance Party. Reserve your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Visit Keenvention.info for more speaker announcements or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's Keenvention.info. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. 
If worse comes to worst, will you be prepared? You don't have to be a survivalist to prepare for the unexpected. Storing necessary supplies like food, water, and emergency equipment is simply taking responsibility for ourselves and our families when it counts the most. StrategicShelters.com offers emergency supplies and a secure way to store them and provides protection for loved ones in the event of an extreme natural or man-made disaster. To find out more, visit StrategicShelters.com. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and of course, you can join us here. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online. Just drop by freetalklive.com and enjoy. Well, actually, you can't do that now because our website's down, and I don't know why, but we're working on that. What would you do if a bizarre cult army calling itself the Trust invaded your sleepy little mountain town? Well, find out what James Contrell, a big-hearted country boy with a crappy job, what he did. He's learned to live without dreams, and because sometimes the guy who's learned to live without dreams might be the best one suited to handle a nightmare. Read the action comedy graphic novel James vs. the New World Order by Brandon Bitros and illustrated by J. Matthew Root, the first in what's estimated to be a five-volume, 24-issue series. So if you're intrigued, go and pre-order right now at jamesvsthenewworldorder.com. And what it is is you're trying to, they're trying to get together the money so that they can do the artwork, the coloring, the production, distribution, all the stuff that needs to be done with a graphic novel. It's, uh, like I said, a five-volume, 24-issue series. And, uh, you know, they, they need some pre-orders. Go, please, do your pre-orders now. Ch- take a look. See if it's something that's going to interest you. But you, you can find it all at James VS, that's versus, James VS, the New World Order dot com. All right, 855-450 free. We're talking about this guy who is apparently the guy behind this Fireburn Doctor site that we had a call about earlier tonight. The lady who called in didn't mention his name, and she talked about a BBC piece that was so supposedly inaccurate about him. But I, I don't think it's inaccurate when you talk to multiple people who say that this guy took thousands of uh, dollars from them, in uh, British pounds, but thousands and thousands of dollars, maybe even over $100,000 from various people, to supposedly provide them with healing, some kind of uh, mind healing or whatever. Uh, some of them, he actually had them come to his location, so he wasn't doing it over the phone, which is what he's claiming on his website is that you know Burns will be healed over the phone if you just call this number. And yeah, that's uh, I mean, you know, after you spend a little time thinking about this uh, whole um, it's free thing, uh, you know, what else are they going to do? So that's what I was thinking, Mark, because you were wondering, you know, how are they making money off of this? The the website claims that they'll heal your burns for free. Your burns will heal faster than any other burn. And, uh, you know, the pain will go away within minutes, et cetera, et cetera. Um, And so I think that what they're doing is they're using this because, okay. So there's another website, one of the ones I was reading uh, previously, that is called uh, thenest.com. It's the Rogues Gallery. They went through 20 pages of testimonials, and they looked at the kinds of burns that you know people were saying that they had, and they said they were mostly on their hands. So these aren't the most serious burns, right? These are the kind of burns you get when you're cooking or, yeah. or whatever. And so people are, are testifying that this worked for them, this process, and... So that could be his sort of inroad to pitching them on other healing services, right? Well, sure. hey, I healed your burn, didn't I? Now I can solve your scoliosis or, you know, whatever it is that uh, that you happen to yeah, have. Yeah, but I can't do that one over the phone. Or I can't do it for free. Look, I got to make money somehow. How about $20,000? And so that's what I'm thinking. They've got people's phone numbers. They've got people who will, who because of the placebo effect, will want this to work. The kind of person who calls this line, many of them are people who will want this to be true. And so they'll believe that it was, in fact, true, which will make them ripe for the pickings for this guy to charge tens of thousands of dollars for some sort of questionable uh, distance healing or in-person healing treatment. That's my speculation I'm with on, you. on how they're uh, they're making money off of this. So, uh, you know, yes, the supposed burn healing is free, but that's like their opener, basically. 
You know, first one's free, that kind of thing. Our toll-free number, if you want to join us here, maybe you've been through something like this. Maybe, you know, not necessarily this particular faith healer, but maybe you've, you know, you've experienced something similar. You can share your thoughts at 855-450-FREE. Here's some more from the BBC piece about these people who claim they were ripped off. Uh, The price here, according to one guy who claimed he was healed of AIDS, he journeyed 7,000 miles from the west coast of America to Cornwall to fetch his son Christian, a sauvage devotee. This man's name is Sauvage. That is his last name. First name, Philippe. Philippe Sauvage. Uh, Christian has a history of drug abuse and violent behavior. So I'm sorry, this isn't the AIDS guy. This is another guy. Pierre fears fears his son is suicidal and under huge pressure to raise money for Catharsis, which is his uh, Sauvage's organization. Christian's agreed to meet a counselor from a charity which has helped other people reject Sauvage. But a few days later, Christian returns to Cornwall to live with other followers, leaving his father in despair. So it almost sounds like there's some cult aspects uh, going on here as well. Uh, there's no way he can reject Sauvage by himself, that he can find the strength. He's totally enslaved. It's one of the most frightening and disgusting things that I have witnessed in my life. Hmm. Maybe he gets these cult members to call radio shows and, uh, and promote him. Among those who effective. paid catharsis are local followers Christopher Layton from Devon and Allison McDermott from Cornwall. And again, the lady that called earlier tonight is Allison. Uh, both are recent recruits who seem to genuinely believe in Savage and are happy to recruit others. We've no evidence the local followers have ever benefited financially or deliberate, uh, deliberately deceived people, but we want to find out how catharsis draws others in and set up secret recordings with an actress. Our actress phoned Allison McDermott, saying she's struggling to come to terms with widowhood. Allison quickly suggests Savage can help. Later, when they discuss the cost of seeing Savage, Allison makes our actress a disturbing offer. Quote, I could pick you up and take you to the bank. I could do that. Unquote. Allison arranges for Christopher Layton to visit. Mr. Layton has been distributing a letter promoting Savage. It cites his clinically attested cures for AIDS and cancer. The claim may breach the Cancer Act, which prohibits the unqualified people uh, prohibits unqualified people advertising cancer treatment. Some weeks later, Mr. Layton agrees to be interviewed by Inside Out at his home near Tavistock. He claims to have never heard of the Cancer Act, but says, quote, If someone who has cancer misses the opportunity to get healed, I don't think it's a good law. And, you know, I'll agree. I think there should be alternative treatments available for things so people can try them and that they shouldn't be prohibited. Uh, He says, I remain convinced that Savage is a genuine, valid healer. In their telephone call, Allison had insisted our actress call Jane Dillon, who tells her Savage can save lives. After a lengthy conversation, Jane finally reveals the cost. The minimum to see Philippe is 30,000 pounds. Now, that's a health contract, unquote. Some weeks later, Jane Dillon agreed to be interviewed, and she denied saying some of the things that we had secretly recorded. Hmm. She denies that she'd ever said that Philippe Sauvage saves people from dying, but claimed that he helps people spiritually, and the results show physically, emotionally, psychologically. That's what he does, unquote. She denies that she'd ever suggest to somebody who is grieving that they should pay 30,000 pounds to see Philippe. Quote, I don't suggest to anybody. They suggest to me. I'm waiting for someone to give me 14 million pounds, so 30,000 pounds could be too little. It could be 30 million pounds, she says. What? What I does that know. mean? I don't okay. know what that means. And on the Grossman Burn study, she refuses to accept that the Burn Center denies ever taking part in such a study. Meanwhile, a number of Savage followers who'd been reluctant to talk to Inside Out suddenly have changed their minds. One by one, they say how wonderful Savage is, how he's changed their lives, mm. and how they've witnessed miraculous healings. Pierre's son, Christian, denies Pierre's account that he was suicidal and denies that he was pressured to raise money for Sauvage. 855-450-FREE. I mean, do I really need to say more about this guy? 855-450-3733. You get them on the phone, they say one thing, you record them secretly, and then you confront them later with it and they deny it? It's Free Talk Live. Hi, I'm Rick Osick with Famous Footwear. Did you know that premature birth is the number one killer of babies? That's why we support the March of Dimes in the fight against premature birth. Join us in supporting cutting edge research, treatment programs, and outreach to help moms have full term pregnancies and healthy babies. Learn how you can help save babies' lives at marchofdimes.org. 
The human body is more than 60% water. Your brain and muscles are 75% water. And your blood is 92% water. Water is vital to your body, and alkalizing your water is the key to keep it running at its best. Alkalizing Plasma pH drops keep your entire body healthy, boosts energy, promotes weight loss, and even fights cancer. Call 800-518-7615 or go to alkavision.com to find out more. That's alkavision.com. Free Press Publications is an independent, alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary on the website fpp.cc, as well as a daily five-minute newscast, FPP Radio News, and weekly news, views, and commentary in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com, and the monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at FPP.cc. That's FPP.cc, as in Creative Commons. So you've signed the Shire Society Declaration and are planning your move to New Hampshire to be around more liberty-oriented people. Next, sign up for the Shire Society Forum at forum.shiresociety.com. There are a bunch of people there who are already in the Shire, and they want to meet you. If you're already in the Shire physically, you should also come by the forums. Remember, not everyone uses Facebook. New people are signing up for the Shire Society Forum every month, so drop in and say hello at forum.shiresociety.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. You can help by joining the AMP program for just $5 a month at amp.freetalklive.com and getting perks. That's amp.freetalklive.com. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. All right, this is Free Talk Live. No more faith healer stuff. We're going to go back to serious issues here, including the U.S. Senate candidate who has apparently admitted to sacrificing a goat and drinking its blood. And he's a libertarian. Oh, this will be fun. In Florida. 855-450-FREE. That's our toll-free number. Um, with you in the studio tonight, you've got me, Ian. And me, Mark. Uh, and also, I want you to know that Mark is coming to Vegas in, what are we, three weeks away now, I think, because October 29th, is what Thursday? That's a Thursday, right? It's a Thursday and Friday event. October thirtieth is a Friday. That's correct. So we are literally just about three weeks. Three weeks from now, Mark, you are going to be flying to Vegas, I suspect, uh, because you're going to be there as well as Stephanie Murphy and a bunch of other great folks. Yeah, that's going to be uh, Paul Pui, Joseph von Perling, Trace Mayer, uh, Stephen Michaels is putting it on. It's and a Bitcoin speaking, conference. Yes, yeah, Bitcoin investor conference. It should be a great opportunity to find out some some investments in the Bitcoin sphere and. I, you know, I suspect do some networking for your own business. I imagine that uh, there will be Bitcoin investor types there, as well as people that are looking for Bitcoin investor types. 
it, when I've been to these conventions, the uh, venture capitalist guys are kind of all going around trying to figure out, uh, you know, where what's what the, the next, hot thing? Yeah, what's the hot thing? And I, I'm going to guess that this is probably going to be a hotbed for that kind of activity. Just has that sound. Bitcoininvestor.com. You can get your tickets now. It's October the 29th and 30th at the beautiful D Hotel in downtown Las Vegas. They do accept bitcoins there. Bitcoininvestor.com. Come out and see me. It's our first remote from Las Vegas ever. Yeah, it's very exciting. And the first ever Bitcoin Investor Conference. That's true. As well. All right, so you can join us here. You're still welcome to call about the scam artist that we were discussing earlier, Philippe Savage, uh, who apparently has been active for several years, bilking people out of thousands of dollars. But we actually opened the show up tonight with a story from the Orlando Sentinel, the AP actually reporting on a man who calls himself Augustus Sol Invictus. And I, uh, my understanding, he actually changed his given name to a Latin phrase that means majestic, unconquered son. And the chairman of the Libertarian Party well, has, at least it's a pretty awesome name. Yeah, I mean, I've got to hand it to you. It's, uh, it's definitely a catchy name. You'll notice it. It's unique. And the chairman of the Libertarian Party, however, has resigned in order to call attention to this man, which, of course, some could say was not a good move because now he's making headlines yes. as a result of this. Uh, but Adrian Wiley, who was a Libertarian candidate for governor last year, says Invictus wants to lead a civil war, is trying to recruit neo-Nazis to the party, and has brutally and sadistically dismembered a goat. He says that this is Wiley saying, quote, he's the absolute exact opposite of a Libertarian. He's a self-proclaimed uh, fascist. He's promoting a second civil war. It's absolute insanity. <laughs> we must explain to people this is the opposite of libertarian. This guy has no place in the libertarian party, unquote. And the reason why he's resigning or has resigned is because the libertarian party of Florida, their executive board, refused to rebuke this character at all. So because they were it's hard enough to get people to run. Um, right. And, you know, they're like, hey, we're libertarians. We're all weird. Invictus, a 32-year-old lawyer who uh, did change his given name, says Wiley is running a smear campaign and is twisting his words into lies. Here's what Wiley needs to do. Wiley needs to give up on this whole Florida thing. I know, right? And move up here to New Hampshire. <laughs> That's actually what I posted on his uh, on his Facebook while when I, I saw his original post about this. Now, Invictus says that Wiley is not telling the truth. He says he's not a white supremacist, pointing out his four children are Hispanic. That's helpful. Though he acknowledges that some white supremacists do support his campaign. And that's like the Ron Paul thing, right? Like Ron Paul got into this during, I think it was the 2012 election, maybe the one before that. Anyway, there were some uh, some racist types who were donating to Ron Paul. And Ron Paul was like, yeah, I'm going to take their money. I mean, why wouldn't I take their money? It's not like I believe in what they believe in. It's not like I'm spreading racism. I'm spreading the ideas of liberty. And if they, you know, they want to give me their money rather than give it to the KKK, then... Psh, I'll cash the check. I'm reasonably certain that uh, some racists probably gave some money to the McCain campaign and to the Romney campaign simply to beat Obama, right? Mm. And, you know, some people that uh, hate uh, Mormons probably gave money to the um, Obama campaign. There's always somebody out there with an axe to grind, and it doesn't particularly matter. He says, no, he's not trying to start a civil war, but he says the government already is at war with its citizens and that it's certain to escalate. In a phone interview with the AP on Friday, he said, quote, the only question is, when are the citizens going to start fighting back? Now, this is more typical sort of libertarian, brutalist, tough talk. Uh, that that you know is not uncommon I within would, the movement. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's uh, common in the movement, but I wouldn't say it's uncommon either. Yeah, I would not say it's uncommon. I would say that there's probably more people who would who believe this than will open their mouths and say it. Um, that you know you need to arm up and prepare for when the government comes, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I don't know if there's and, a war on um, citizens. Maybe you know, maybe you could make an argue um, argument for that. I would say that what governments are what uh, what governments are today states as we um as they're they're called organizations claim a monopoly privilege in the use of violence in a given landmass those organizations what they are is human tax cattle to tax livestock farms mm -hmm. and you know if you <laughs> it the 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 farmer is only at war with the animals when the animals are not doing what the farmer wishes right um so you know if the livestock does what it what the farmer wishes then there's no 
There's no force that is uh, employed. However, if the livestock doesn't do what the farmer wishes, then some level of coercion or force will be used. Today, my big pig, my big uh, sow, Kelly Ayot, decided that she was going to take a walk in the little pig's pen. And this is frustrating for me because you can't just pick up a 450-pound sow and put her back in her proper pen. So we had to take down some fencing and lure her through with uh, with donuts and that sort of thing. And so the, this was the carrot as opposed to the stick. doesn't really work so well with the big animals. Um and, you know, I got what I wanted ultimately because I'm in charge. Mm -hmm. And this is how the government sees it, too. That's You're, true. They're going to get what they want from you. And if it isn't the carrot that they get it with, they will get it with the stick. Now, I can understand where he's coming from. I myself was once frustrated with uh, the government and still find myself frustrated with them. But, uh, but I've rejected the violence as a solution. I've rejected the use of defensive violence against the state, even though you can argue from a libertarian perspective that is justified. You know, the idea of libertarianism is you're not supposed to aggress against peaceful people. You're not supposed to aggress. And if you do, then the person uh, upon whom you've aggressed has the right to defend themselves with violence if necessary. That's a fairly libertarian statement to make. Sure. And so it's easy to extrapolate from that that violence would be necessary against the state because the state uh, as a concept, we're not just talking about the the state of state government, but you know, city government, federal government, the state as the idea is those people are constantly aggressing against people. So some libertarians will use that as justification for advocating a violent uprising of some sorts or sure. a civil war. It's done over and over again. And uh, so that's what he's saying here is when he says the only question is when are the citizens going to start fighting back? Well, I don't think that fighting back is the right way to advance liberty in our lifetime. I think that you could non-cooperate, you could refuse to pay them, you could refuse to obey. And if people do those things, before they get to violence, you'll see the state crumble because they rely on your obedience. Their system only works because you allow it to, because you go along to get along. But if people, even a small portion of them, 5%, 10%, started to refuse to take a plea deal, clog the court system... Not pay uh, the you know to into the tax system. Refuse to obey stupid regulations that are forced on their business. If a small portion of people were to consistently do those things, the state would become very impotent because they wouldn't be able to go after everyone. They wouldn't be able to lock everyone up. They'd have to start dropping charges. And you can see this work on a small scale with like uh, parking tickets. You know, here in Keene, New Hampshire, we've made international headlines for having Robin Hood of Keene going around these activists saving people from getting parking tickets. Well, that's taken a dent. That's put a dent in the uh, the city government's coffers as far as at least the parking department is concerned. They're not writing as many tickets as a result of that. And we've heard from people that when they do get their tickets and they go and challenge them, that the tickets are being dropped. Now, it's not every time. It's not for everybody. Like if it's an activist who challenges the ticket, they'll take us to court. If they but know your name. Average folks, some of them are having their tickets dropped. At least that's the feedback we're getting. And that's because they can't prosecute. You know, they, they only have so much court time in a day, and they can only load up so many parking ticket trials. For five Just, bucks. For five bucks per. So they're going to drop those charges. There's something to be said for non-cooperation. And these people advocating violence just jump right over that. It's Free Talk Live, 855-450 free. When the most powerful and destructive witch in 13th century France chooses a successor, her frightened young protege, Liana, escapes into the wild. Pursued by witch hunters, the town watch, and her mistress, Liana's only hope is a pair of newly returned crusaders, one with PTSD, the other a complete rascal. The Witch's Hand by Wendy Joseph is a cut above the usual sword and sorcery fair, a thinking person's historical fantasy novel. Available now at your favorite booksellers or visit Wendy Joseph rights.com if you expect secure privacy oriented services and real human support from your web hosting provider choose virtual space international from domain names and ssl certificates to offshore banking accounts virtual space international has been the all-in-one multi-language solution for over 25 years and satisfaction is guaranteed or your money back we even accept bitcoin find out how to get 50 percent off for life at savetimehosting.com. 
Uh, no way. Is that a real bullet necklace? No, it's a 9 millimeter bullet necklace with matching earrings, you'll notice. Those are awesome. Where'd you get them? Dave found them at PatriotNecklace.com. Wow. They have a variety of calibers and necklaces and earrings and keychains. PatriotNecklace.com. PatriotNecklace.com. Your choice of caliber bullet includes a rugged American-made stainless steel dog tag chain. A percentage of every sale goes to military and service-related charities. And get a discount by entering GCN at checkout. Show your patriotism and support our troops with a bullet necklace from PatriotNecklace.com. Okay, open your mouth and say, ah. Ah. When your child has a sore throat, you need to know when to get help. The doctor recommended Say Ah Sore Throat Exam is your solution. The scientifically designed oral retractor offers a clear view of the throat, relaxing the tongue and minimizing gag reflex. Compare with a medical grade chart, website, and app. Then you'll know just what to tell your doctor. A wellness plan in your hands in minutes. Go to SayAhNow.com. SayAhNow.com, the new mainstay for every family's first aid kit. Every once in a while, you get information that's worth changing your life for. This is one such time. You can save up to and beyond 25% on all purchases at Amazon. You probably heard of Bitcoin and just not thought much about it. You certainly know that you can get competitive pricing at Amazon, but now you can get a 25% discount on nearly everything you need to live. I've just given you a huge raise, and all you have to do is claim it. You go to saveitpurse.com and open an account. Do this right now. Don't wait. Then you fund the account with Bitcoin. You can buy them through expresscoin.com with a check or money order. There are other ways to get Bitcoin, but that's fast, safe, and easy. This information is worth you changing the way you do things. Go to saveitpurse.com right now, get signed up, and cash in on the huge raise I'm offering you. 15 to 25% off of everything at Amazon through saveitpurse.com. It's saveatpurse.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Why are you playing a slot machine sound for an online poker site? Do you have a poker sound effect? Because we have a new advertiser, swcpoker.eu. Brought to you by the same guys that did seals with clubs. Now they're called swcpoker.eu. It's Bitcoin Poker 2.0. They have lots of new games, including Chinese poker. The Krill leaderboard is active now. It's Bitcoin Poker from the brand you trust, swcpoker.eu. Get on over to swcpoker.eu and start playing now. You're listening to the best Liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. It's Free Talk Live. You're invited to join us here. Toll free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Uh, More to come here about the Florida Senate candidate who supposedly wants to start a civil war. He's saying that's not true, but he wonders when people are going to so-called fight back against the government. And that sure does sound kind of war-like to me, but we can continue that discussion. It's Ian and Mark here in the studio with you tonight. Let's go first to John. He's in Nevada uh, via Skype. Hello, John. Hi. Interesting call from your scam artist assistant. And I think this raises some interesting questions about uh, what kind of fraud should be allowed in a free society. For instance, I see you know someone running a uh, a uh, palm reading business. Mm-hmm. It's almost certainly a fraud. The person almost certainly knows that you know what they're doing doesn't work. Uh, should that be considered you know? Should that be considered a crime where you can be able to get your money back? I because- say no. Buyer beware. Okay, yeah. so I mean, is somehow there any we've place managed to live. Draw the line? Well, b- before you go on, uh, b- uh, I think we've managed to live 
I, at least I have, 44 years at this point with palm readers. In, in Sarasota, in Bradenton, Florida, when I was uh, growing up, there were a few of these things on the major roads. We'd drive by them every single day. Somehow I managed to drive by one of these places every day. for years and not be you know sucked in. I'm sure that there are plenty of people that uh, that get, got scammed, but I mean, it's not like you don't know if they've got a big giant palm on their sign that they're a hustler. Well, but some people might go just for the fun of it, the entertainment value, they right? They could. Like, I mean, I don't— not everybody, not everybody who goes into a palm reader is going in because they believe it, are they? Uh, no, but I think some people are going in because they believe it. Yeah, sure. No yeah. doubt, no doubt. I still say buyer beware, though. I mean, there are a lot of things out there that are unproven or questionable, but people should be able to take risks— and, you know, when you believe someone else's claims about the services that are being offered somewhere and you don't do any further research into it, that's really not the fault of the person offering uh, the service, is it? No. Well, uh, well, in a sense, it is the fault of the person operating the service if they're really trying to defraud you. But I agree that the things we're talking about, you know, should be considered non-crimes. But I'm wondering, you know, is there is there a place where you draw a limit where you say, you know, uh, someone has committed a crime by fraud. I mean, yeah, usually when people talk about the NAP, they say uh, the non-aggression say, principle. The non-aggression principle. They they qualify that to mean force or fraud, where fraud is considered a form of aggression. And you know, right. where's you that line gonna, drawn? Yeah, if you say you're going to sell me, uh, you know, ten apples and you only give me eight, that's fraud. If you tell me, if you say you're going to tell me my future but you're just going to talk out of your uh, fugal horn, um, then that's fraud too. So I would say that, look, uh, I would leave this to a tort. If, um, you know, somebody wants to bring it to an arbiter, uh, somebody who's a non-state uh, judge, basically, and claim that, look, I went in here and I spent, my mother's, uh, a friend of my mother spent thousands of dollars on one of these uh, voodoo practitioners on the side of the road and at some point i don't know you know maybe maybe she would come to the conclusion that this is just a bunch of hokum so she takes somebody to the the you know the hustler to um, arbitration assuming you can get them into arbitration I, I i would hope society has some method for that and then the if i'm the arbiter i'm going to go ahead and say look you can charge a reasonable sum of money per visit but, um, you know, that's really all there is to it. So if I'm, you know, running one of these palm readers, they're essentially uh, a poorly qualified psycho psychologist, right? Sure. And so if, uh, you know, it's $30 per half hour, I don't think that's particularly unreasonable. If somebody wants to schedule three half hours a, a week and they're at 90 bucks, they're going to be, you know, they're, they're putting... Four hundred, five hundred dollars in per month. They're going to be up to some pretty hefty um, money by the end of the year. So I don't know. I mean, it it for for me, it's a difficult situation. If I was the arbiter, I'd want to know how many visits are we talking about, how much money are we talking about. I'd get out my uh, calculator, do the division real quick, and say, yeah, you owe them this much because I only believe that uh, a visit should be worth X. That's how I would run it. Yeah. Well, it's just an interesting question that I've thought about for a long time, you know, where you draw the line. I think that a free society should be willing to put up with a lot of fraud that's not counted as force, but uh, you know, yeah, maybe there is maybe there is a line where you, where you can count it as force. Thanks, if, John, for the call tonight. I appreciate it. What if a guy goes to a hooker and he's in love? What do you mean? Well, he's in love, she's not. He buys her flowers and buys her things yeah. and a variety of stuff. Um, what what do they call the gifts of pursuit? Um, you know, and the I mean, fraud is what I'm. She spending a time and attention on him. That's looks a lot like love as we're uh -huh. taught in today's society. But he's paying her. Well, he's paying her and he's sending her gifts yeah. um, of acquisition. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I mean, there's all kinds of. Uh, it's about your expectations in life. Right. Um, you know, people are usually most disappointed when their expectations are not met. As a salesperson, I try extraordinarily hard to make sure that your expectations are going to be met when I'm selling you a product. I don't know how radio advertising is going to work for you, but I try to. Hey, look, you know, 
if uh, if radio advertising was a tremendous investment where you could put in one dollar and get out five dollars, everybody would be advertising, um, you know, putting in one dollar to get out five dollars. Mm-hmm. If, however, it was an investment where you say put in one dollar and get out a dollar twenty then you're really not talking about an amazing investment. You're just talking about sort of normal life. I don't know. Some businesses, it is put in $1 and get out 5 Others, Depends it's on the pitch and the product, right? Put in $1, get out $0.50. Cents. You never know. Let's go to Chris. He's in Connecticut. Chris, you're on Free Talk Live with Ian and Mark. Hey, good evening, guys. Hey, Am I coming through? Yes, sir. Go ahead. All right. Hey, I just want to say a great show tonight. I think it's, again, one of those nights where people do not want to call in because they want to hear what you guys actually have to say about the subject. Even if it is on faith healing, it was pretty amazing. At any rate, I wanted to call about uh, non-cooperation, which you guys were just talking about. Yeah, sure. Clogging the system. Absolutely. And I think that's insanely important versus a uh, armed rebellion against the state, which I do feel is like a last-ditch effort, unfortunately. And I, I, I believe that would ultimately come down to a mutually assured destruction. Mm. Would you concur? It certainly would be messy. Yes, no, maybe. Yeah, it's, it would be yeah, it um, would, ugly. I think that if enough fun. and if enough people were upset with a given government, that government's going to crumble and fall. But I don't think if there's enough people, you don't need to use violence in, right. the, in the first place. Yeah, if you uh, have enough to physically overthrow them, you also have enough to clog the system. Uh, yeah, maybe those maybe those numbers are about the same. Maybe um, you know maybe they are. But um, I would say that it's going to destabilize. Whatever happens, if you're talking about changing over systems of governance uh, from what we have today to something new, you're going to see some destabilization in the economy. So some people are going to be pretty unhappy about that. Absolutely. Even in my police state of Connecticut, where I'm calling from, like uh, sometimes I will, well, every time I will plead not guilty to a traffic uh, extortion that I might receive on the uh, highway from the highwayman. And one out of maybe 20 times, uh, I'll, I'll get a nolly. So it does work. Not a null, null pros, as they yeah, call it. Yeah, null it's a, a Latin term right. meaning. And, and ultimately, what you guys are doing up there, and I've signed on to this pledge, I intend on moving there. I'm winding up my desk, believe me. But ultimately, what you guys are doing is clogging up their system and making them run the other way with their tail between their legs, and it's great stuff. Well, they don't always and, run the other way. Uh, sometimes they hey. you know, hunker down and double down. Uh, like they're doing with our friend James Cleveland, who is currently facing two years in jail because he recorded the police. So they haven't backed off on him yet. Uh, But I think generally the principle stands that if people do stand up for what they believe in, if people stand up for their rights, that ultimately the state will retreat, especially if we do do that in large enough numbers. And of course, that is going to be more and more possible as more people move to New Hampshire as part of the Free State Project. And Chris, thank you for your call tonight, man. I appreciate it. Hearing from you. Our toll free number is 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. We'll talk more about Saul Invictus here, the guy who admits that he did drink goat's blood. He did sacrifice a goat and drank its blood in uh, some sort of a pagan ritual, apparently. So, not a satanic, uh, satanic ritual, but a, a pagan one. And But what, the point I wanted to make, though, Mark, was I said if you have enough people for a violent revolution, you have enough people to clog the system. And, and further, if you have enough people for a violent revolution, you probably have far more than or would be willing to clog the system because it's unlikely that you're going to find people willing to sacrifice their lives, which ultimately is what you have to be willing to do to participate in a violent revolution. You have to be willing to perish uh, in support of this particular idea that you support. Um, so it's a lower bar to find someone who's willing to just go to court. Yeah, you know, it's <laughs> so true. You're more likely to find more people who are willing to non-cooperate. And there aren't that many of them. And there aren't that many of them, okay? At least not yet in one place. When we've seen mass non-cooperation, mass civil disobedience, it's been incredibly powerful up here, but we don't have enough activists here yet. So go to freestateproject.org, and this is Free Talk Live. More coming up. Currency is too important a thing to be left in the hands of government bureaucrats, especially when billions of dollars can be created with the swipe of a pen. Overstock.com supports the cryptocurrency movement because it returns the power of an inflation-proof form of money to the people where it belongs. Did you know that you can use Bitcoin to pay for anything Overstock.com sells while enjoying free shipping on orders of 0.211 Bitcoin or more? If you support freedom and the cryptocurrency movement, you should support Overstock.com. Are you searching for your soulmate? Someone you can trust who will never betray you or cooperate with the NSA? 
stop searching. With EasyDNS, you found a keeper. EasyDNS does it all. Domain names, web hosting, and managed WordPress hosting. EasyDNS stands up for your internet freedom. And with servers in Canada, they do not cooperate with the NSA. Go to EasyDNS.com. You'll love their services or get a full refund. They guarantee it. And they accept Bitcoin. That's EasyDNS.com. This is your Roberts & Roberts Brokerage Daily Precious Metals Update. In early trading Wednesday, gold is $3 lower at $1,146 per ounce. Silver is up $0.08 cents at $16.03 per ounce. Bitcoin is trading at $244. US Looking for silver but don't want long delays? We have plenty of Australian silver spiders and kangaroos in stock ready to ship. Give us a call at 800-874-9760 or visit us online at rrbi.co. LRN.FM is proud to announce our official listening apps for Android and iOS devices. Now you can easily tune into our streams anywhere, anytime on your smartphone or tablet. Just visit apps.lrn.fm or search for LRN.FM in the Android or Apple app stores. Please download, rate it five stars, then share the link on social media, and let your friends and family know how you're listening to LRN.FM. Download it now, free at apps.lrn.fm. That's apps.lrn.fm. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keenan, the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Wednesday, October 7th, 2015. Silver is trading at $15.97 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,153 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $246. Antiwar.com reports in the eight days since the Taliban took over the northern city of Kunduz, Afghanistan, Afghan forces have repeatedly claimed that they have the area virtually retaken. The Taliban has shifted tactics, however, and seems to be holding out in much of the city. Officials say the Taliban is suddenly more interested in hit-and-run tactics in Kunduz, attacking troops on motorbike and quickly disappearing into the residential areas, allowing them to harass the troops trying to advance into the city and slowing them significantly. The tactic likely reflects the superior number of Afghan troops and the recent addition of U.S. air power into the area and is aiming to avoid a quick loss and, by extension, a quick win by the military by delaying and hoping to wear out the Afghan forces who notoriously have questionable morale and not much training. Kunduz thus remains contested and likely will be for the foreseeable future. Keeping the city soaking up large number of Afghan forces is likely part of the plan for the Taliban as it takes pressure off their southern holdings and may allow them to expand elsewhere in the country without much resistance. You can support FPP Radio by shopping online. Whether you're looking for precious metals, bitcoins, or books, you'll find that and more at shop.fppradio.com. Every purchase you make from one of my affiliates, like Namecheap and Amazon, at shop.fppradio.com helps fund FPP Radio. That's shop.fppradio.com. UPI reports the U.S. Department of Justice will reportedly release more than 6,000 inmates from federal prison across the country beginning this month due to rising prison populations and punishments now considered unjust that were exacted decades ago on nonviolent drug offenders. The mass release will occur between October 30th and November 2nd, according to officials, and will be the largest one-time prisoner release in U.S. history. The decision is part of an overall plan by justice leaders to get the escalating nation nationwide prison population under control and provide a respite for nonviolent inmates who have spent, in some cases, decades behind bars due to the overly tough punitive terms handed out by courts during the 1980s and 1990s. The Justice Department has not yet formally announced the plan to release the prisoners. The New York Times cited anonymous sources in reporting the story. Earlier this year, the U.S. Sentencing Commission announced changes to guidelines that eased penalties for nonviolent drug offenders who were subjected to harsh prison terms under different tougher guidelines in the past. The U.S. Sentencing Commission said in April that its change in guidelines could potentially qualify nearly half of the country's nonviolent drug offenders for early release. 
For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. Reuters reports a Montana judge ruled on Tuesday that one of the drugs planned for use in a lethal injection mix violates state law, effectively putting a hold on executions in the state, which has only two inmates on death row. District Court Judge Jeffrey Sherlock said in his ruling, Montana law stipulates that one of the drugs in its lethal injection mix must be an ultra-fast acting barbiturate, and the current drug intended to play that role, pentobarbital, does not meet the criteria. The decision is unlikely to have an immediate impact impact in Montana, which has no executions planned and has conducted only three since 1976 when the U.S. Supreme Court reinstated the death penalty. The last execution in Montana was in 2006. The judge wrote in the order, the state of Montana is hereby enjoined from using the drug pentobarbital in its lethal injection protocol unless and until the statute authorizing lethal injection is modified in conformance with this decision. A spokesman for the Montana Attorney General's office said that they were studying the decision and would not issue comment on the ruling. Montana's three-drug lethal injection procedure was struck down about three years ago by a state court judge for differing from a two-drug protocol spelled out in state law. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. Already struggling to get by on the basic necessities of day-to-day -day life, lunatics across the nation confirmed today that they are now barely able to afford the quickly rising price of car meat. I've got 14 Barbara Streisands to feed and three more on the way. Day and night they shout, we're hungry, Admiral. We want grade A hand loaf We want Nissan truck. I just want to know what Bruno Mars plans to do about this. He sits around all day eating Audi ribeye and limousine bouillabaisse while we scrape by with taxi shanks. Meanwhile, the men at arms are still overseas fighting the war on Wheel of Fortune. For more on this story, check this week's Onion Review. This is the Onion News Network. Hey, it's Free Talk Live, and you can join us here if you want. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. With you tonight, it's Ian. And Mark. And you can join us online. Well, actually, no, you can't. I'm used to saying that you can join us online, so you'll hear me say that a few more times here tonight. But actually, this is the longest downtime we've had for our website in quite a while. Uh, so apologies for that. We call it 99.9% uh, uptime. Yeah, there you go. Uh, so normally you can join us at freetalklive.com, and hopefully later tonight you will again be able to do that. In the meantime, all you got is us on the radio. It's like the old days, Mark, when uh, there were no internet communications, and uh, you had to com communicate via old technology like uh, like the radio. So here we are, in your ears. And actually, if you have our uh, live stream information, the, the stream, uh, the broadband stream is still online. Our webcam is still online, but you can't access it through our website, so it's almost useless uh, at this point. But yes, Ian and Mark here in the studio tonight, we were talking about Augustus Sol Invictus, which is the name that he has chosen for himself. He is a Florida U.S. Senate candidate with the Libertarian Party of Florida. And his candidacy has resulted in the chairperson of the Libertarian Party of Florida resigning his position in frustration because the Libertarian Party refused to rebuke this man. And Adrian Wiley, who is the chairman who's resigned, says this guy has no place in the Libertarian Party. He says he's the opposite of a libertarian. He's a self-proclaimed fascist. He also further that claims... That in and of itself should be plenty for me. He further claims that uh, Mr. Invictus wants to lead a civil war, is trying to recruit neo-Nazis to the party, and has dismembered a goat and drank its blood. Now, Invictus is a 32-year-old lawyer. Now, the, the goat 
um, the goat sacrifice thing is what's yep. really catching um, the news. all the news, and I think that that is the least interesting part of this story. Yeah, I agree. I mean, look, if you want to, if it's your goat, you should be able to do what you want with it. I guess it's your your goat, so you should be able to sacrifice. I don't it. think you should make it suffer, but um, no, I don't think you should either. But people <laughs> people bleed out animals, um, eat the eat the flesh of bled out animals every single day. Right. Um, so this isn't particularly interesting. Um, if you believe that, uh, if you if you believe this is a problem, then I wonder about communion, eating the body and blood of Christ. Well, in fact, uh, Invictus says sacrifice. Uh, well, this is the article at the Orlando Sentinel and the AP. Sacrifice, yes, brutal and sadistic. Not according to Invictus. He says I did sacrifice a goat. I know that's probably a quibble in the mind of most Americans. I sacrificed an animal to the god of the wilderness. Yes, I drank the goat's blood, unquote. He admits he's been investigated by the FBI, U.S. Marshals, and other law enforcement, which, by the way, they wouldn't be investigating him for sacrificing a goat. They're investigating him for his statements about uh, basically starting a civil war or fighting back, as he puts it, against the government. You talk about that kind of stuff, you're going to have an investigation run on you eventually. Somebody's going to get the word out to uh, the FBI, and they're going to open a file. Anyway, he's confident they're still watching him, in part for a series of YouTube videos and other writings in which he discusses the government. He renounced his citizenship in one paper, and in another he prophesi uh, prophesied a great war, saying he would wander into the wilderness and return, bearing revolution. He says, "Revolution seems to be a word that you can kind of get around. Um, I mean, it's a little, it's a little, it certainly um, alludes to violence, but it can also just sort of allude to things changing. Things changing, yeah, right. Which is why you normally would preface revolution with the word violent if you were specifically talking about a violent revolution." And Victor said, "Quote: I guess it makes me feel flattered that they think I'm a threat to the stability of the system. It makes me think one man can make a difference." He insists, though, that he does not advocate violence. He says, quote, you do not initiate force. If the government is waging war on citizens, we as citizens have the right to self-defense on government, which is advocating violence, right? So if you're saying that, okay, folks, if the government does something to you, you can fight back, that is advocating violence. It's not advocating aggressive violence, but it is absolutely advocating violence. Some some people would quibble on the term violence. That violence itself um, is only would only be aggressive. That it would be defense without violence. I don't. Mm. You know. I'm I'm not going to make no. that quibble. I mean, I still think you have to use violence in order to defend yourself. You can use less violence. Like you can use defensive uh, tactics that turns the enemy's energy against themselves, like a lot of uh, martial arts do, and make it so that you're not actually hurting that person, just stopping their attacks. But you still have to put your hands on them. Uh, in order to do that, right? So, Invictus knows running as a libertarian's a long shot. Wiley was easily Florida's most well-received libertarian candidate, and he only received 3.8% of the vote. And, and he, that's really good. That's pretty good for a libertarian. Uh, and he acknowledges that being a pagan will hurt him with an electorate that tends to support Christians, but he said he's running with the hope of speaking on the Senate floor. Quote, If not elected, I still think there's a purpose for all of this, and that is to get a message out there, waking them up. They're the ones that control the government and not the other way around. So he claims he's not a, uh, a white supremacist. He claims he's got Hispanic children. And further, he claims he's not trying to start a civil war, but at the same time is peppering his language with terms like fighting back. When are the people going to start fighting back, he asks, against the government? And this I can understand because I used to be like him. And I used to live in Florida as well, which is why I felt the way that he probably does. He likely feels alone. He likely feels like he's trapped by the government, that the government just keeps getting bigger and more oppressive and more uh, expensive than it has ever been. It seems inevitable. It seems like you're being crushed, that your freedom is being uh, squozen out of you, being choked, <laughs> uh, squeezed, squeezed out, squeezed out of you. Squeezed, it is being yeah. You're being choked to death by this government. And it can seem real hopeless. It can feel like nothing you do makes a difference. And when you're running a libertarian campaign, it really feels like nothing you do makes a difference because you don't get interviewed by the press in most places. You don't, uh, and I'm talking about outside of New Hampshire. In New Hampshire, it's a lot better here. Uh, but, but you know, you don't get attention in the media. They won't let you I into the debates. I don't think libertarian candidates have it very, um, you know, libertarian party candidates have it particularly good in New Hampshire. But 
lots of uh, libertarians, small L libertarians that run as Republicans and Democrats. Yeah. Yeah. They get not just, uh, you know, attention from the media, but they get elected. Yeah, that's absolutely dozens true. Dozens and dozens of them. Probably in the low hundreds of them have. So I understand the frustration. I understand that you feel like you've run out of options. And I wouldn't blame anyone in Florida or anywhere else the government is so oppressive for not wanting to throw themselves into the gears of the system to, you know, you don't want to be the first person to non-cooperate and get crushed by the system. I get right. that. Well, you, I mean, if you're, if you're going to pick some area to take a stand, be it uh, parking tickets or not paying income tax or, you know, uh, not bowing down to the zoning board for some reason or another, wherever you are around the country, you're just going to be an interesting news uh, if article. If that, if you get any news coverage. In Free Talk Live's very short news cycle. Yeah. Right. Um, meaning that we'll talk about you for some period of time on the air. And then that's, you know, that's pretty much it. That's you it. Know, the next time it comes around, oh, it turns out, uh, you know, there's appeal and you lost again. Uh, well, we'll cover that again. Yep. But that's it. That's all you get. And it isn't much. You're not going to get a front page story in the local newspaper, likely. And if you do, it's all, people are just going to say, hey, look at him. He's not dealing with the system. They're going to yeah. talk crap about you. They're going to call you a maniac. We They're get that here, by the way. You. Yeah. Uh, we, we get that here in New Hampshire because there are a number of people who love the system. They love the state, and they're very upset about the idea that we are here. They don't like the idea that free staters. Oh, I've been, free staters. I've been told by neighbors that I'm the topic at the um, the, the the downtown store where they have uh, breakfast and stuff served. Um, you are, huh? Yeah. You don't even do much in your, your town. I don't uh, pay property taxes because um, you know my property is owned by a church, ah. and we are, you know, it's a parsonage, and we're taking that to court to see how that goes. I can see then you would be the talk of the town. And so case. they're, you know, complaining that I don't want to pay property taxes, something right. like 80% of which is going to schools, a school that my son doesn't go to. And never they're, has. They're complaining that... I don't bow down and take the theft of my son's money to give sure. to other people's kids so they can go to school. That's what these small-minded little, uh, you know, small-town little bickerers are complaining about. It's that slave happens on slave here, violence. But at the least, at the very least, you have a support network here. Yep, that's true, and it's growing. That network, uh, they actually just had the new movers party last night in Manchester, which always attracts... You know, a dozen at least new movers. Last month it was two dozen. I didn't hear what the, the uh, turnout was last night. There's people moving here literally every week for the Free State Project. So go check out freestateproject.org. Self-driving trucks are here. It's Free Talk Live. If this ever happened to you, you're applying for some type of a loan, whether online or in person. When it's time to hit submit, your nerves spike because you're not sure you'll get the approval you seek. There's a different way to approach life. It's called Credit Success Secrets Revealed. Credit Success Secrets Revealed is a revolutionized step-by-step -step system that you can follow to get all the credit you desire today. We're talking about secured and unsecured credit, car leases, credit cards, and cash. Call 800-568-8960. Credit Success Secrets Revealed works no matter what your current situation, whether you've had bad credit, never had credit, or looking for some business credit, or any type of credit. Please call 800-568-8960. We don't take any personal information. Your personal information is way too valuable to trust to a third-party email or a website that doesn't answer the phone. At Credit Success Secrets Revealed, we show you step-by-step -step what to place into the financial computer systems that control your credibility in the marketplace today. We practically fill out the forms for you. Credit Success Secrets Revealed works 100% of the time. Call now, 800-568-8960. That's 800-568-8960. 800-568-8960. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional installation. You control what you watch when you watch. It. Record your favorite shows, pause and rewind live TV, even skip the commercials. Watch local channels too. At just $19.99, what are you waiting for? Pull out your major credit or debit card. Call 1 855 905 MyTV. 1 855 905 MyTV. Say goodbye to the cable guy. Cut costs and get more. 1 855 905 MyTV. 1 855 905 MyTV. 
Money, power, and respect are all yours at credit successsecretsrevealed.com. Be seen as an industry leader. You can do it. The last application you filled out when it was time to hit submit did your nerves spike. You didn't get the approval you seek, but there's a better way. We teach you exactly what to place into the right systems the right way the first time so you get approved. Get up to $100,000 in instant business credit. Many people will get cash on the spot. Use those two tools in your new corporate credit engine so you can walk into the bank and get your project funded today. It's all about today at CreditSuccessSecretsRevealed.com. Credit Success Secrets Revealed is explosive and ignites instant results. Dial 1-800-707-8719. That's 1-800-707-8719, 1-800-707-8719, or just go to creditsuccesssecretsrevealed.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. If you have a business, you know that IT can be frustrating, but it doesn't have to be. IT can serve your needs reliably, predictably, and on time. Rootwork Infotech helps businesses achieve always-on reliability. Their nerds know business and can meet your needs. To prove it, they'll give you 30 minutes on the phone with a senior consultant for free to answer any of your IT questions. Just go to rootwork.it slash FTL to get your free call. That's R-O-O-T work.it slash FTL. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. You may join us here toll-free. You can share your thoughts on the Florida libertarian senate candidate who has admitted to killing a goat uh sacrificing it in the name of apparently some pagan religion and drinking its it's not even being clear which god it is uh it just said pagan in the story okay so and uh and so yeah he's running for office and now he's making the news and he's a libertarian and he's in florida so what do you do about this as the Libertarian Party, because the Libertarian Party chairman has resigned in Florida. He is frustrated. He says the the LP chairman or the uh, the board folk, the, the executive board, they're not doing anything. They're not rebuking this man. They're not calling him out. He says he's a fascist. He says Wiley, Adrian Wiley is the, uh, the, chair, the chairperson who's now resigned. He says this Saul Invictus guy claims to be a fascist. Now, I haven't seen the actual link or quote or the proof. That that is true, but you said that uh, you met Adrian Wiley at the at one of the Bitcoin you conferences too. last year, and it, I usually have to meet somebody a, a few times, so I apologize. It's all right. Um, but anyway, you said that uh, he seemed like a pretty up and up guy, and so is he, you know, telling the truth about this guy claiming to be a, a fascist, and this guy's claiming that he's not what he's being accused of being, that he's not a racist, that uh, he's not a white supremacist. He claims he's got Hispanic children. What do you do? in this case, as the Libertarian Party? I'd say, um, you know, well, you, what you have to do is weigh the value of Adrian uh, Wiley in this case. The chairman. The of chairman the um, who has now resigned. And you have to just, you know, I would I would have done this before he resigned. And it's like, look, if this is such a big deal, we'll get rid of the crazy guy. All right. But what you need to understand, Adrian, is, is this is a party of weirdos. Mm-hmm. Sorry, but that's just how it is. People who are, um, you know, uh, outspoken enough, avant-garde enough to think outside of the box are probably going to be odd as far as other people are concerned. So you need to not get in a bunch over every weirdo that comes along. But I get where he's coming from, right? There was yeah. the uh, we we had a real problem at one point with a guy who, um, you know, was portraying himself as a libertarian and saying some rather not libertarian things. So, you know, whatever whatever his experience is, if 
the the board needs to decide what 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 is uh, most valuable to them. You know, there are weirdos, plenty of them in the Republican and Democratic parties. The difference is there are more weirdos in the Republican and Democratic parties than there are in the Libertarians. But that's because the Libertarians are a small party. Thing is, the Libertarians have the disadvantage for them is they don't get to be choosy when it comes to their candidates. So, yes, there are weirdos in all of the political parties. But at the very least, in the major political parties, they have enough of a competition for running for political office so that the more milk toast. Uh, lukewarm candidates can rise to the top. Yeah. Uh, the less offensive. I mean, all the, obviously they all have some kind of skeleton in their closet that they don't want to come out generally, unless they're Ron Paul. Uh, there's something back there, and they don't want that revealed, just because they're politicians and they're people and all Ron of that. Ron Paul had a skeleton in his closet too. It was that uh, newsletter of his oh, that yeah, was written by somebody newsletter. that uh, you know clearly didn't have the highest opinion of black people. There was that. You're right, Mark. But that wasn't actually Ron Paul. He didn't. It do wasn't. That. Well, but it was his skeleton, if that makes sense. It's the, the closest they could find to a skeleton. If you want to blame if, someone else's actions, if you're going to claim Paul, everybody's got a skeleton in their closet, then politicians you, are certainly are more likely. I'm going to claim everybody does. Okay. So everybody's got something that they wouldn't want to come out in their uh, political run if they were to make this imaginary political run, right? Everybody's got okay. something, whatever that might be. And in the case of Ron Paul, the best they could do was. Hey, look, his name was on a newsletter that somebody else wrote a racist thing in. That's the best they got. Right. So you got a lot of crazies in every political party, but at least in the Republicans and Democrats, the crazies are less likely to run because there are more normal people. And I don't like using that term. I, you know, I don't really believe there's a normal necessarily, but I'm sure you get what I'm saying, right? You know, you don't generally see blood drinking animal sacrificers running in the Republican and Democratic parties. Yeah. That's because they have enough people seeking those seats. In the Libertarian Party or other third parties, it's desperate. They're like, please, we need as many candidates as possible. We're trying to be as legitimate as we can. We need to run as many candidates. Look, we don't even care if you run for office. We, we don't care if you do any campaigning. Just run. Back when I was in Florida, they had what they called the full slate campaign. And the idea behind this, it's not a bad idea, mind you. Uh, the idea behind the full slate campaign was, let's get a full slate of candidates. Let's have a libertarian on the ballot in every race, if we possibly can. Now, of course, they've never done it. But, uh, you know, it's a good idea to push for that so that people see on the ballot the L and the libertarian or whatever it is and, you know, the person's name. And that It's got that, you know, there's... Having it in front of people is important. It's great so I get to have that. that option, and I think, and that's what I love about best about the Libertarian Party is, is they try to provide me with an option, right. um, and I think it's awesome. But let's not forget that this is true in other places too. So, for instance, um, our uh, former co-host Dale. Uh, he mm -hmm. used to be on the show. He ran as a Republican, and I think it was in San Francisco yeah. um, or someplace in California. He ran in a, in a district where the chances of him getting 20% of the vote were low, very low. So, um, you know, I mean, he was providing an alternative as a Republican at that point. A log cabin Republican was his thing. And he got his picture taken with uh, Schwarzenegger. But apparently the Schwarzenegger white, uh, whatever, the governor house uh, wouldn't release the pictures unless you basically had a chance of winning. Oh, so wow. everybody got their picture, their handshaking picture, but only for Dale. taken, but they didn't get to keep it uh, necessarily. <laughs> so, um, you know, he wasn't going to, Schwarzenegger wasn't going to back somebody who wasn't going to wow. win in that particular district was the idea. Right. So my point is, in the bigger parties, you don't see this kind of stuff as often because they have more people. So obviously, the libertarians would like to get more people, but there's just catch-22, right? Like, yeah, okay, you're getting some press out of this libertarian party, mm -hmm. but is the press attention that you're getting actually worth it? You know, is it is it going to result in more people signing up for the libertarian party of Florida? I don't know. We don't I, know. I wouldn't necessarily go out on a limb and say that it is particularly good press, but then again, you can argue that all publicity is good publicity. It's, I, I'm, you know, I'm, I don't want to be mean. I, I love my libertarian friends in other states. Uh, you guys are doing great work, but to some extent, this is just WWE wrestling. 
And, and what do you mean? No besmirching of the WWE either. Yeah, we have, have good some, folks. We have to have some uh, listeners of the show who are WWE entertainers. Yep, uh, we they do. It's a good show. They provide good uh, entertainment. I, I'm all for it. Yep. But that's all this is. This is entertainment, right? This is a side show situation. Uh, Wiley, well, I'm sure the libertarians would say that their campaigns are not entertainment. They want to promote the ideas of liberty. That's awesome. Um, but and they're trying. And if they are. As far as I, I... That's fine. I just kind of... Sitting here in New Hampshire where we get hundreds of libertarians elected um, since uh, you know we've moved here. Yeah. We've seen hundreds of them elected to we're, different we're, offices. We were on the front page uh, in Keene, New Hampshire just a few days ago. It libertarians. just seems so, like such an incredible waste the way that libertarians in, and I'm from Florida, so I'm just going to go, and this is yeah. a story about Florida, Florida, so I'm just going to go ahead and point the gun at Florida and say, look, guys, it just looks like you're wasting your time sitting here and watching libertarians get elected here and you guys complaining about how you have no legitimacy there, you don't have any legitimacy because the best candidate you ever had has 3.8%, and that's awesome. 855 450 free. It's Free Talk Live. Oh, ten thousand dollars or more to the IRS? Get on board with the tax admiral. Don't pick on the IRS alone. I'll cut penalties and reduce your overall tax bill. Sometimes I can even get it zeroed out completely. We're an A-rated company helping people clean up their mess with the IRS. If you owe ten thousand dollars or more, then call the tax admiral. Call eight hundred two eight seven seven one eight zero. Again, that's eight hundred two eight seven seven one eight zero. Eight hundred two eight seven seven one eight zero. Hunters, anglers, campers, and survivalists. Get back to nature. Expand your horizons with the highest quality, most versatile, unique slingshots and sling bows on the market at slingbow.com. Slingbow products are compact and models start from just $17.98. They're perfect for your bug out bag or storing in your vehicle. Give yourself and your loved ones the excitement and tradition of Slingbow. A new frontier in archery and truly modern twist on this primitive survival tool. Feel the thrill only at slingbow.com. Understanding your credit score is the first step towards managing and improving it. This is Charlie Sundstrom with your Van Dyke Mortgage Minute. The most influential component of your credit score is your payment history. Almost equally as important is the amount you owe on credit accounts. Also impacting your score, but to a lesser degree, are the length of time you've utilized your credit, the number of new accounts, credit inquiries, and your various types of credit accounts. To help achieve or maintain a healthy credit score, have a system set up to assure your bills are always paid on time. Don't max out your cards. It's better to have a high credit limit with a low balance. Never close old accounts. The age of these can actually help your credit score. But don't be afraid to use your credit. You need several accounts in order to have a credit score. Just keep the corresponding payments within your means. For your mortgage pre-approval and refi needs, start by visiting VanDykeMortgage.com. Corporate NMLS 3035. Van Dyke Mortgage is an equal housing lender. Charlie Sundstrom, NMLS 134251. There comes a time when you need custom embroidered or screen printed apparel for your business, organization, or a special event. Corporate Casuals has been helping people create great looking logoed apparel for over 25 years. They can produce a single piece or thousands using name brand apparel like Nike, Patagonia, Adidas, and Hanes. Create your logo in their online embroidery design studio or upload your existing logo and they'll turn it into embroidery. Go to corporatecasuals.com. Dot com slash FTL and include FTL in the order notes and save 5% on your order. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Keenvention is coming up fast, October 30th through November 1st. Get your tickets now at keenvention.info. Keenvention is an intimate event where you can meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire, including Oath Keeper Chris Reitman, Libertarian presidential candidate Daryl W. Perry, illegal Uber driver Christopher David, Neocash Radio's Dr. Darren Tapp, State Representative Mike Sylvia rated an A-plus by the NHLA, The Seditious Sirens, The Rebel Love Show's Rob Mathias, Tech Guru Brian Sovereign, Cop blocker J.P. Freeman, new mover Dr. Taryn Lupo, longtime political activist Dennis Goddard, 
Church of the Invisible Hand Minister Rich Paul, Shire Dude, and dozens more. Only 100 tickets are available in advance, so lock yours in now for just $60 or with Bitcoin. That includes access to the Hello Keen Costume Dance Party. Reserve your tickets now at keenvention.info. Visit keenvention.info for more speaker announcements, or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's keenvention.info. Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at twitter.lrn.fm. That's twitter.lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live, and you can join us here toll-free. 855-450-FREE is our number. 855-450-3733. Maybe you believe that the Libertarian Party in your state is just on the cusp of political victory. Because usually when we say things like you said in, the, in, in just a few moments ago, Mark, you were sort of uh, raking the Floridian Libertarians over the coals like, what are you thinking? You need to get to New Hampshire. You got to get together with other people who care about freedom. This is a strategy that works. We've proven it because libertarians are getting elected as Republicans and Democrats, like real principled libertarians. I'm not like talking about some half-ass libertarian. The real deal. We got plenty of half-ass libertarians that are getting elected too. Right. There's no doubt about it. Um, we we have the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance. It's an organization that rates every state legis- legislator based on their votes, um, and they gives them gives them a letter grade and. They endorse the ones that get 80%, um, you know, sort of liberty-oriented votes, and they don't endorse the rest. So, yeah, I mean, what you have there are what, what I would call nominal libertarians. They are libertarians in name. They may not understand the non-aggression principle the same way that, you know, some kind of principled, uh, hardcore libertarian might understand them. But they've, they've got the general gist of it down, and they should be considered allies. So, sure, we've got it all. Right. Uh, so when you normally exhort the libertarians like that, they'll they'll bring up some examples of how it is they are on the cusp of victory. I can't leave Florida. We're about to win. No, no. Is sort of what we've heard no, over, not. over the years. But Mark, our gov- gubernatorial candidate is polling at over 10 percent in the polls. This was, is unprecedented. It was it really shows, great. It shows that we are on the cusp of victory. It um what it also showed when um Wiley got four percent and was mm-hmm. polling at ten percent was not only is, is he being kept out of the debate in a really you know terrible fashion and that stinks and all that other stuff but that about uh, you know two and a half times the uh, you know s- some large percentage of people that will say that they're going to vote for your candidate once they get Didn't to the, the off once they get to the ballot and I remember this with uh, in the 2000 election you remember I, experiencing it you mean I experienced this I wasn't able to vote in the 2000 election I was yep. one of those that was disenfranchised by the uh, um, during the Bush campaign and, and that that sort of thing do you remember? Uh, you'd gotten out of prison. Were you disenfranchised for that reason? Or? Yeah. Well, it was the um, you remember the Al Gore and yeah. the Bush thing. Felons couldn't vote, and the uh, Secretary of State or whatever had sort of purged the rolls. Okay. I was one of those people purged, but I was thinking about what I was going to do at the polls, and you know, I had you talking to me. Oh, you vote for Harry Brown. That'll be really, really great. Yeah. Like, oh, Harry that Brown seems was great. like a fine idea. He was the Libertarian <laughs> presidential candidate in 2000 and 1996. And I have my coworker Wes. I'm sure you remember him. Yeah. He's like, oh, you don't want to vote for the Libertarian. Come on, it's you're just wasting your vote. That kind of thing. Mm-hmm. That 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 conversation. I'm like. Well, maybe I should vote for the you know Republican instead. <laughs> um, and back then, Bush Bush wasn't so horrifying. He said he was for smaller government. Yeah, said it was for smaller. He said he was for no nation building. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> So I, I could very well have been one of those libertarians at that time. I was right. not a principled libertarian. I'm just like, oh, this seems like a fine idea to vote for the libertarian. I'll go ahead and do that. So, yeah, this is what happens to people is when the rubber hits the road, right. they're like, oh, no, I can't. I got to vote against the Democrat. Uh, in the false belief that their or, vote actually mattered in the first vote place. Vote against yeah. the Republican. Yeah. So they're always looking to vote against somebody, and that's why it you know, just doesn't work. I think I was having a, a conversation with um, actually a board member of the Free State Project about mm-hmm. this yesterday, and I don't care what happens in our national elections in New Hampshire. Some people will point at New Hampshire and say, you people voted for Obama two times in a row. That's why the Free State Project can't work. 
you know, they'll they'll point at some vote or another that gone through New Hampshire and say that this is why it can't happen. I'm happy to send the statist politicians out of the state to Washington, D.C. I don't care about whichever politician wins the statewide election because it seems like the higher up the election, the more um, moderate sort of middle of the road people get. Uh, they're just you know not willing to step outside the box. But on these local elections... Oftentimes you're running, and people don't even know who's who they're running for. They're just voting for Democrats or Republicans. Thirty-five people voted in the uh, the recent city elections here for Yesterday. our co-host Johnson, and he did not campaign one iota. He did not even respond to the uh, the, the the normal like questionnaire that the newspaper sends out. He did the worst of sixteen candidates, but thirty-five people did cast a vote for a man. Presumably, who did, they did not know anything about. No, no did no campaigning, whatever. Yeah, yeah has and, no name recognition at all. But when you're in a town, and many times this happens in New Hampshire, when you're in a town, at, um, and you're, you know, the one Republican or the one Democrat who's running, then you got a pretty good shot of taking the the crown, as it were. And this is what's happening. We've even had races in New Hampshire where there's a Libertarian running as a Democrat against a Libertarian running as a Republican. Yeah, that's this true. Happens that's fun. Here. I now, love that. And it's going to happen more, too, as more people move here and get involved within the regular political parties. And there still is a Libertarian party here. Uh, so getting involved, though, in the various different options out there, we could at some point, Mark, have a... Republican liber libertarian running as a Republican, libertarian running as a Democrat, and a libertarian running as a libertarian at some point here. I blame Rush Limbaugh for all this. Rush Limbaugh starts his radio program in 1989 or whatever it is, and he basically purports as the solution to your problem is get out there and vote Republican. This will solve the problem. He talks about the Democratic, the Clinton war machine. He talks about yak yak the whole thing, but it all comes down to vote, 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 and. People have come to the conclusion that this is a solution for something. Well, if those people are libertarians, they believe like I do that force and fraud, um, initiating force and fraud are unacceptable, then those people have been tricked. That you have to do something more than vote. People have been advocating voting for the Libertarian Party since 1971. This How's is that a solution out? that does not work, ladies and gentlemen. Forty years now. Get out and campaign your fanny off, and you're still not going to win. A Libertarian right. hasn't won anything that I can think of at all outside of the state of New Hampshire no, that they... was above the soil and water no, board. Somebody claimed there was a Libertarian that won a uh, council seat in Texas. That's really great. Send me some documents. And then I'll amend what I'm saying. But they haven't won. They, they haven't gone so far as a state legislator. We've had dozens and dozens of libertarians elected to the state legislature here in New Hampshire. And it's largely because of the Free State Project. If you care, if you don't, it's fine. S stay where you are. You know, do your job and your family and the things that are important to you. Yeah. But if you care... This is the place to be. It's I would true. also go one cold, step. Mark. I'd it's go cold. one step further. I, you know, if look, cold <laughs> didn't bother the guys at Valley Forge. They managed to it push through. It bothers me. I don't like it. But, we uh, have heaters. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's not like we're all sitting in our houses. But I like freedom. I like more freedom. And most people will get more freedom simply by moving to New Hampshire already, just by default. And you can throw your seatbelt off symbolically when you cross the border. The weather doesn't bother me, um, but here's what I would go one step further in saying. I would say that if you're um, you know, doing all kinds of libertarian politics in 49 other states and around the world, that you might as well stop. That you might as well just spit. If you care about your job and your family and, and you know the weather, well, then— Enjoy your job, enjoy your family, and enjoy the weather, and stop wasting your time on libertarian politics. That's where I'm coming from. I know that some people don't like it. I know they find it very upsetting, but I'm about efficiency. If efficiency is what you're looking for, you need to listen. You're making big mistakes. That's what I've seen in my life. It's true, and numbers make a difference. Numbers are a huge help, and we have them here in New Hampshire. You know, Mark, there was uh, one of our activist friends who calls the show is considering moving from Tennessee to either Michigan or New Hampshire, and he's kind of comparing and contrasting uh, the two. And, of course, he mentioned this on his Facebook page, and people start coming out of the woodwork, you should move to New Hampshire, you should move to Michigan. And, you know, the Michigan guy's like, we've got a great Liberty community. 
And I said, really? Well, tell me about it. What's going on over there? I mean, we don't really hear much about uh, all the libertarian activism going on in Michigan. And one guy said, well, you know, we got uh, internet, we got uh, national news for a protest we put together in Detroit. I'm like, well, that's great. And I looked it up and they did get a little bit of coverage for it. It happened more than a year ago. I mean, I got we got front page news within the last week here in Freaky and Keen. Currency is too important a thing to be left in the hands of government bureaucrats, especially when billions of dollars can be created with the swipe of a pen. Overstock.com supports the cryptocurrency movement because it returns the power of an inflation-proof money to the people where it belongs. Did you know that you can use Bitcoin to pay for anything Overstock.com sells while enjoying free shipping on orders of 0.211 Bitcoin or more? If you support freedom in the cryptocurrency movement, you should support Overstock.com. If worse comes to worst, will you be prepared? You don't have to be a survivalist to prepare for the unexpected. Storing necessary supplies like food, water, and emergency equipment is simply taking responsibility for ourselves and our families when it counts the most. StrategicShelters.com offers emergency supplies and a secure way to store them and provides protection for loved ones in the event of an extreme natural or man-made disaster. To find out more, visit StrategicShelters.com. Just recently, we've witnessed some of the most catastrophic disasters in history. Be sure to prepare yourself with great-tasting, high-quality, GMO-free food that has a 25-year shelf life. Of course, we're talking about the foods from SurvivalFoodAlliance.com. And don't forget, the human body needs up to three quarts of water every day to remain healthy and hydrated. So check out our water bricks at SurvivalFoodAlliance.com. Go to SurvivalFoodAlliance.com or call 877-223-1776. So you've got to take a state construction license exam or certification. Can't decide on what books or what chapters to study? Discover right now how you can eliminate unnecessary books and wasted study time. At ContractorExam.com, our study materials zero in on state-required test topics in an effective, multiple-choice format. So whether you're a plumber, electrician, general contractor, or other construction-related trade, ContractorExam.com will help get you prepared. Visit us at www.ContractorExam.com today. Officials at PepsiCo announced today the upcoming launch of Mountain Dew Cineblast after the company's market research team unknowingly fell victim to a malicious focus group that convinced them cinnamon-flavored Mountain Dew was the next big thing. We were the people of the focus group. They just, they couldn't get enough of it. And then they said, the more cinnamon, the better. So we are going to put in more cinnamon. We are really excited for people to try this product. According to PepsiCo's data, all gathered from a single group of ill-intentioned respondents, customers of all ages will love the new soft drink's murky brownish green color and will soon be lining up to try the carbonated beverage jam-packed with ground cinnamon. Various members of the focus group told reporters they believed the company had made a great decision. Cineblast is the best. I mean, I can't wait to tell all of my friends to go buy this thing. Uh, yeah. The only way they could make it better is if they took a couple of raw eggs, mixed them up in the bottle. People would go nuts. This is the Onion News Network. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. Blake Div Development.net is a global leader in website creation, app development, and online marketing, catering to businesses of all sizes. There's really no job too big or too small for BlakeDevelopment.net. Do you have an idea for a killer app, but you don't know how to code it? Are you missing out on online sales? Or maybe your business needs help with social media. Websites start at just 200 bucks, and they're offering three years of free domain registry. Yes, they take Bitcoin. 844-SITE-123. BlakeDevelopment.net, 844-SITE-123. Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. This is Free Talk Live, and you can join us here. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Normally, you can join us online 
at freetalklive.com. Although at the moment we are having a temporary outage with our server that I'm sure will be remedied here uh, sooner rather than later. I've actually uh, unearthed our admin. We're doing much better now. Yes, the admin has been awakened, and so that should solve the problem. <laughs> Uh, a little grumpy about it. I Who has walked in the Balrog? I imagine he's not happy about it. Uh, but anyway, get up and fix the website. Freetalklive.com is where you can normally go to get more Free Talk Live, download the show, sign up for the AMP program at amp.freetalklive.com. If you like what we're doing here on Free Talk Live, it's a small operation. Okay, so you know we can we can move pretty effectively. We can, uh, you, we can be very, very nimble with a small amount of money, and we can bring more radio stations on to expose new people to the ideas of freedom. That's really what the AMP program focuses on. We also expand our satellite coverage and bring more Internet listeners on board with the show, and you can join the AMP program for 5 bucks a month with any major credit card uh, or th through PayPal or via our website through Visa and MasterCard. So you can do that at amp.freetalklive.com. There's also another way that you can sort of amp the show, and that is through ProXPN. There's a new special offer from our, our folks over, over at ProXPN. ProXPN.com is their normal site. But if you go to ProXPN.com slash amp, then you can get two years of ProXPN. What is it? It's a virtual private network that encrypts your online data before it reaches your Internet service provider. And ProXPN does it right. They offer OP, uh, OpenVPN, the gold standard of network encryption. Windows, Mac, iOS, Android, Linux support as well. So whatever operating system you're on, ProXPN can help you get connected and encrypted. And you can get it for less than $50 for two years, which is the best offer we've ever given on Free Talk Live. It's huge. And it's only available if you pay with Bitcoin. Now, not only are you getting it for $49.95 worth of Bitcoin, you're also going to get, uh, or $5 of that purchase will go to the AMP program to help Free Talk Live spread the message of liberty. Because ProXPN loves what we do here on Free Talk Live. I'm pretty sure this was their idea to uh, to do this. Sure. To help us out with this. Uh, so ProXPN.com slash AMP. You pay with Bitcoin. You get two years of ProXPN for less than $50 worth of Bitcoin. If you are not yet a Bitcoin user, this should be another reason to consider it. But if you're just still using credit cards, you can still get a great deal uh, as well. The credit card code that you need is FTL50. So if you're just checking out normally and not using Bitcoin, use FTL50 to get 50% off their regular monthly price when you buy the annual account at ProXPN.com. And again, go to ProXPN.com slash AMP to take advantage of that new Bitcoin-only offer as we continue here. So I was talking about comparing New Hampshire's activism, the libertarians that are moving here. Every single week, we have new movers showing up as part of the Free State Project. Of course, you can go to freestateproject.org to learn more about that. Um, and I truly do believe that this is the best option for liberty. If I believed there was a better one, I'd move there. And I believe yeah, that— No, totally. Yeah. Right. If something passed New Hampshire up, uh, as far as what I can tell— Currently on the ground, real uh, creation of liberty, I'd move. It's not. There's nothing else out there that is competitive. Liberland looks promising, but they've got a, a ways to go. I'm hoping all the best for them. Yep, I want the best for them too. Um, but in you know, in the United States, this is the best bet, and arguably in the entire world, uh, the Free State Project is the best bet. But the the folks who are where they are, whether it's Michigan or wherever, they still feel invested. You know, they feel like this is their home. They shouldn't have to give up their home to be more free. They want to stay where they are, and they will come up with all they manner of— They shouldn't have to. Right. But that doesn't—what what should be—we as libertarians certainly understand the world is not as it should be. Right. And something needs to be done, and we found that the old tactics aren't working, so let's try something new. The Free State Project is the new old idea of concentrating yourself. It worked for the Mormons— it worked for the hippies in Vermont. It worked for the Mormons in Utah. It's, uh, you know, it worked for the uh, the American Revolution, right? You get your people together, and then say goodbye. We're it, out of this. It works all the time in all different places. I mean, they got red states and blue states, yep. right? I mean, people are relocating from California to Texas for a variety of or reasons. Montana but, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, they're they're doing all kinds of relocation for whatever the whatever it is that they're looking right, for. Right. So why shouldn't libertarians do the same thing? Because there aren't enough of us. So at one point, uh, a, a young lady posted on Facebook that, oh, well, Ian's probably going to say or someone from New Hampshire will say that if you're living in another state doing activism, you're doing it wrong. No, no, that's not what I would say. 
please do all the activism you want. Spread the message of liberty where you currently are. I'm not saying don't do those things or that it's wrong to do those things. It's just not as effective. If you want your activism to be its maximum effectiveness, you have to be with other people. And that's true whether it's in your town or whether it's you know on a state level or what or whatever. Well, you have you, to concentrate people. Yeah, uh, you have to get people active, and um, you know, like sometimes you can activate a half a dozen or a dozen people in a given area. I know in Southwest Ohio, um, Virgil Vaduva has gotten a bunch of activists very active there, and they're yep. doing some things. But the fact is, is that. Okay, so activism, um, I'm, I'm not entirely sure that uh, a lot of sort of protests and things like that do much. They maybe get an opportunity to talk to people. If you get some headlines out of it, that's a good thing, it's, right? It's talk fine. to people's good. I, I just, I, what I've seen here in Keene, New Hampshire, I've seen around the state is, is that the most effective thing is to get people in office. Um, and what, the libertarians aren't doing that generally anywhere else. No, they're not really doing that anyplace else. So to me, that's what's effective. And and as Virgil pointed out, he also admitted that long term, New Hampshire is the best option. He's excited about a lot that's going on in Ohio. And great. There is some cool stuff happening there. You know, they got some great cop blockers there. Virgil is doing some wonderful activism with Truth Voice, etc. Uh, there's been some civil disobedience. But ultimately, there's not a movement there's not a bunch of people who are moving into Ohio to join the liberty movement there. We've got people coming from Ohio, from California, from uh, Florida, from around the globe to come to New Hampshire. That's not happening in Detroit. That's not happening. There was the Free Detroit Project. Whatever happened to that? It's another failed project from yeah. what I can tell. I haven't heard anything about them. Haven't heard about any of the you know great news about what's been happening there. Uh, well, I heard uh, you know a guy out there saying that basically it was a failed program, and a lot of people will get whipped up about something that's new and exciting. And mm -hmm. new and exciting's good, right? Like it's a good thing. But I, I tend to think you could do whatever your new exciting thing is in many cases in New Hampshire, right? And have people backing you up, and have people getting excited who are watching you do those things. Because there are a lot of people outside of New Hampshire who watch what happens here. You can go to freekeen.com when my website's back online. Uh, you can go to freekeen.com when that's up, and you can see story after story of New Hampshire activists making the news. We've got uh, Christopher David, who's out on the seacoast. He's doing civil disobedience, refusing to stop giving people rides in his Uber a cab. I don't know if you can call it cab. In his Uber car. Yes. You know, he's giving people civil disobedience rides because it's not legal what he's doing there in Portsmouth. They've decided to try to regulate Uber there. And certainly that's not a good thing, but his activism sure is. And he's got people backing him. They actually did an event, I think it was either this weekend or the previous weekend, where they did an outreach project in town. They went around posting flyers. They had a protest in favor of Uber and in favor of civil disobedience. Uh, by the Uber drivers, and now the uh, the town is an announcing that they do plan on ticketing Uber drivers. They haven't they haven't done it yet. They've been waiting. They've been plotting, but they're gonna do it. Gosh darn it! They haven't done it yet. So we'll see when it actually does happen. And in fact, uh, Christopher David is gonna be the uh, one of the keynote speakers at the upcoming Keenvention. So if you think we're BSing you, come on up here and check it out. Meet some of these people. Meet some of these folks who've moved from as far away as Russia to come here. To New Hampshire. I suspect Yuri will be at Keenvention. He's uh, been at the last two. I can't promise he's not one of our speakers, but he's been there. So, you know, you can meet people from all across the globe and certainly uh, all around the, the United States from as far away as Hawaii, for instance, that have come here and have made a, a new life for themselves in a very cold place a lot of the year uh, to have a crack at more freedom. You know, I've uh, never found the cold argument to be particularly persuasive. Now, I live out— It scared me away for a while. I know. You know, I'm from Florida, too. Yeah. But when I'm here, I've got to say the cold isn't what bothers me. I just like snow, <laughs> mm. right? Um, but if you live in the city like you do— Yeah, that's right. Um, and especially if you live in some place where you, say, rent an apartment or something like that— Somebody else is doing all that Somebody work. else is taking care of this. I mean, you shovel your tiny little driveway right. out. Um, I have a big—I live out in the you country. Plow. Um, right. I've got a well. I've got somebody who plows for me. Ah, uh, you used to have one on your truck. I used to, and amateurs shouldn't uh, go about doing <laughs> things. It's uh, better to pay somebody forty bucks a go to uh, clear my four hundred foot driveway. Okay. And that's just gonna be a better thing. And you know, that's one of the things. One of the things about living out in the country, you can choose to do that. You don't have to live like I do and have twenty pigs and a giant garden and an orchard and have your driveway plowed. Yep. But. You live out in the country, any place, and you're going to pay extra for things. There's a tax on beautiful, on clean air and beautiful skies.
All right, so we'll be back tomorrow night. You can join us between now and then. And I'm sorry we got distracted from the uh, the self-driving truck. I do want to talk about that story uh, because that's pretty cool. That's what's coming, right? We knew that Google was testing the self-driving car, but what about the 18-wheelers? Those are going to be self-driving before you know it. And I imagine some of the drivers out there are a little concerned about that. We'll see you tomorrow night, freetalklive.com. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 85% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keen. Keene is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. If you're a regular reader of FreeKeen.com, you know there's a lot going on in Keene. Keene is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at FreeKeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at FreeKeen.com. That's FreeKeen.com. This is your Roberts & Roberts Brokerage Daily Precious Metals Update. In early trading Wednesday, gold is $3 lower at $1,146 per ounce. Silver is up $0.08 cents at $16.03 per ounce. Bitcoin is trading at $244 U.S. dollars. Looking for silver but don't want long delays? We have plenty of Australian silver spiders and kangaroos in stock ready to ship. Give us a call at 800-874-9760 or visit us online at rrbi.co. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Cop Block Radio is up next, live after the news, on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Wednesday, October 7th, 2015. Silver is trading at $15.97 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,153 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $246. Antiwar.com reports in the eight days since the Taliban took over the northern city of Kunduz, Afghanistan, Afghan forces have repeatedly claimed that they have the area virtually retaken. The Taliban has shifted tactics, however, and seems to be holding out in much of the city. Officials say the Taliban is suddenly more interested in hit-and-run tactics in Kunduz, attacking troops on motorbike and quickly disappearing into the residential areas, allowing them to harass the troops trying to advance into the city and slowing them significantly. The tactic likely reflects the superior number of Afghan troops and the recent addition of U.S. air power into the area and is aiming to avoid a quick loss and by extension a quick win by the military by delaying and hoping to wear out the Afghan forces who notoriously have questionable morale and not much training. Kunduz thus remains contested and likely will be for the foreseeable future. Keeping the city soaking up large number of Afghan forces is likely part of the plan for the Taliban ban as it takes pressure off their southern holdings and may allow them to expand elsewhere in the country without much resistance. You can support FPP Radio by shopping online. Whether you're looking for precious metals, bitcoins, or books, you'll find that and more at shop.fppradio.com. Every purchase you make from one of my affiliates, like Namecheap and Amazon, at shop.fppradio.com helps fund FPP Radio. That's shop.fppradio.com.
UPI reports the U.S. Department of Justice will reportedly release more than 6,000 inmates from federal prison across the country beginning this month due to rising prison populations and punishments now considered unjust that were exacted decades ago on nonviolent drug offenders. The mass release will occur between October 30th and November 2nd, according to officials, and will be the largest one-time prisoner release in U.S. history. The decision is part of an overall plan by justice leaders to get the escalating nation nationwide prison population under control and